On January 18, 2019, Maple Fire Group held a year-end summary meeting. The participants were mainly senior leaders of the group and each subsidiary, as well as employee representatives. As usual, 100 outstanding employees were commended, and Jiang Cheng also preached on the development direction for the new year, so that the entire company from top to bottom knew what to do in the future. In 2019, carbon-based chips must be fully promoted, and various products equipped with carbon-based chips must be developed. Maple Fire Technology Company must significantly increase the market share of mobile phones and computers. Game companies must develop about two exquisite masterpieces, film and television media companies it is about to release a large-scale science fiction movie. In addition to these directional things, what everyone is most concerned about is dividends and year-end bonuses. This time the virtual restricted shares will not be expanded, but at the end of 2019, this matter will be put on the agenda. At that time, Lee Sillen will be responsible for a comprehensive assessment to see who needs to be included, who needs to be adjusted out, etc. Therefore, the performance of employees this year is very important. If you produce impressive results in scientific research work, there will be a great chance of being directly included. Because Jiang Cheng's encouragement to scientific researchers far exceeds that of ordinary administrative staff. This gives everyone an atmosphere of doing whatever they can to engage in research and development and produce results. In the past year, in addition to the guidance of Jiang Cheng, these R&D teams have developed the Shenlong T-Series desktop and mobile all-in-one chips based on carbon-based chips. They have also developed new VR display devices and flexible mini, LED screens, etc. Jiang Cheng did not specifically provide R&D guidance for these technologies, but relied on these R&D teams. It can be said that Jiang Cheng is the pioneer in creating this technology, and the key to future development depends on these R&D personnel. They are the most important talents in the company. It is also an important guarantee for the upward development of Maple Fire Group. Therefore, among the 100 employees commended, 55% are scientific researchers, 20% are middle managers, and the rest are administrative, sales, and other personnel. After the summary, Jiang Cheng deliberately retained three people, Yang Zichian, Ding Chengjun, and Mo Tianqing, to discuss the development plan for the new year. Fang Ya was making tea beside her. After a few years, you have learned about tea. Yang Zichian gently smelled the fragrance of tea and said with a smile. He usually travels between Kyoto and Guishi, especially now that he is building the Hualong-1 carbon-based supercomputer in Kyoto. It is expected that after it is completed, it will be the world's most powerful supercomputer and it will be impossible to let others do it for a while. People exceed. Jiang Cheng smiled and said, I can't help it, just drink it slowly and you'll get used to it. He had never been a big drinker of tea and drank a lot of boiled water, but on normal days, the office would also prepare some tea to entertain guests, and he gradually got used to it. We have a lot to do this year, so I'll let you stay for a moment and talk about our plans in detail. Jiang Cheng said, Cheng Jun. How is the development of Art Sangcheong series public version chips currently going? About 10 million C1 architecture chips have been shipped to blue and green factories. Currently, we have developed the Sangcheong C2 architecture on this basis. This architecture is 8 plus 4 plus 4, and the performance will be improved by more than 30%. Ding Cheng Jun introduced. Jiang Cheng thought for a while. The C2 complete architecture will only supply Maple Fire mobile phones and computers this year to Warwick and Rice. The maximum is only 6 plus 4 plus 2. Combined with the C1 architecture, it will form high, medium, and low configurations. Understood. Ding Changjun naturally knew that this public version structure was more about giving priority to his own products. For this reason, we do not hesitate to reduce the number of large cores and virtual cores. I suggest that we simply integrate two architectures. The internal architecture is C20, and the external version is C15 architecture. Ding Chengjun said later. Yang Zichin raised his lips slightly. Director Jiang is such a thief now. Jiang Cheng shook his head. This is not a thief. We can't possibly take all our high-end products out of the market, right? So how do we rely on to gain the competitiveness of high-end products? Mo Tianqing nodded directly. Yes, Mr. Young, you don't understand. Our own mobile phones are under great pressure. Although the sales volume reached the first place last year, it is not easy to maintain it. In 2018, Maplefire's global sales of mobile phones reached 150 million units, and together with PCs and other products, 
total revenue reached 895 billion yuan. The profit is more than 200 billion. So, this year we will build our second production line in Dongguan, and we will also strengthen product research and development. All future mobile phones will be 5G mobile phones. Jiang Cheng made a request. Just a Luzhou production line is far from being able to meet the expanding market in the future. The production base in Dongguan City, just next to Pingqing, will serve as a channel to the outside world. Of course, in the face of the global market, one production base is not enough. At that time, MOT Anqing will have to inspect suitable production bases abroad in order to achieve more global coverage of mobile phone sales. There are 6 to 7 billion people in the world. Jiang Cheng doesn't say how many of them he has. It should be possible to sell him 300 to 400 million. Mo Tianqing nodded heavily and carefully wrote it down in his notebook. However, this year's fruits are also equipped with carbon-based chips designed by them, and our competitive pressure is very high. I just want you to be under a lot of pressure. Jiang Cheng shook his head. The reason why I agreed to the permanent authorization of fruit by C1 Architecture is not that I want to use him to sell products to the United States, but more importantly, to give you a competitor. Without opponents, you will lose your ambition and be surpassed by others. It's only been a while since Sanqing was knocked out of the top sales position by us, don't forget it. Mo Tianqing sat up straight and said seriously, I understand, Director Jiang. Although Guagua has obtained the C1 architecture authorization, Ding Qingjuan's research in this field is considered very in-depth. As the architecture is updated, either Guagua will continue to purchase the copyright, or he will find other ways to go. Especially with Jiang Cheng here, he didn't think that fruit could surpass him. In addition, Jiang Cheng also reminded Yang Zichian, Zichian, as for your task, it is to build the Hualong One supercomputer as soon as possible. In addition, in terms of cloud and big data, I will copy an artificial intelligence for you. You train him well for me and let him help manage cloud and big data. Artificial intelligence? Yang Zichian was stunned for a moment. Director Jiang, have you developed artificial intelligence? Mo Tianqing was also surprised, like Ali. It should be regarded as strong artificial intelligence, but it is not an artificial intelligence with its own thoughts. It can intelligently judge the optimal solution for some operations and follow our instructions to help us manage complex affairs or help us with scientific research calculations. Ding Chengjun is more familiar with this because Funghua's own supercomputer, Panga No. 1, has artificial intelligence Xiaofeng, but he needs permission to assist in scientific research. Ding Changjun is the only person in the entire research team besides Jiang Chong who has this authority. This is why, after the carbon-based chip was developed, the design of this chip was rapidly advanced. Although Jiang Chong was not present to provide guidance, with the assistance of artificial intelligence, Xiaofeng, the research and development progress was naturally much faster. But Ding Changjun didn't expect that Jiang Chong would deploy artificial intelligence in the field of cloud and big data. Perhaps Jiang Cheng has made a new breakthrough in research in this field? The carbon-based chip has been developed and can be left to Ding Chengjun to lead the scientific research team to continue research and development. It does not require Jiang Cheng to think too much. His current research and development focus is on the development of biochips and military weapons. Now that science and technology have made a breakthrough, the next step is to bring China's military strength to a position that no one can shake. The attack drone developed by Haoyan Heavy Equipment Technology Company in Xijing is just the beginning. Jiang Cheng naturally wants to develop more important weapons and equipment. The electromagnetic equipment mentioned, Jiang Cheng is currently targeting electromagnetic ejection equipment. Can be used on aircraft carriers. China currently has two aircraft carriers, and the third one is under construction. Electromagnetic ejection is what it should be, and Jiang Cheng's development of this equipment is very suitable for the situation. At the same time, the ejection equipment designed by Jiang Cheng is intended to be used in aerospace, which requires more considerations, safety, energy consumption, etc. Of course, Jiang Cheng will carefully test these in the in vivo simulation laboratory and continue to study them. Some materials can be prepared by Jiang Cheng through simulation experiments. Of course, the laboratory inside the body is more of a perfect environment. For this reason, Jiang Cheng also plans to build a space experimental base in one to two years to prepare more perfect materials and equipment through a vacuum and weightless environment. But that's a story for another day. For a while, Jiang Cheng could not achieve this goal so quickly. Anyway, let's design our own rocket first, right? This year, 
Zhang Chang received 6 billion yuan in dividends. After paying 1.2 billion in taxes, Zhang Chang can still get 4.8 billion in dividends. Zhang Chang donated 800 million yuan to his Maple Fire charity company. How much money does the company have now? In the office, Zhang Cheng asked Zhang Debeo, the general manager of the public welfare company. Zhang Debeo is a very kind looking man. He is 52 years old. He has some experience in fund management and a heart for charity. Director Zhang, the current total funds of the fund company are 2.3 billion, of which 61.25% is used for time deposits, and the remaining part is purchased from stocks of companies such as Yachty. Zhang Debeo introduced, last year's income was good, with 110 million yuan. The annual public welfare expenditure is 380 million yuan. Later, Zhang Debeo reported the specific expenditure situation, including newly built school buildings, as well as relatively fixed subsidies for teachers and students in poor areas, etc. It can be said that Maple Fire's public welfare is mainly used for education. If you add the 800 million that Jiang Chung is now prepared to spend, the funds managed by the fund company will exceed 3 billion. It is already considered a pretty good small cap fund company. Of course, the company's capital size will definitely increase in the future. Currently, Huagua is helping the poor, and the top management encourages our company to help one county, which is on Yuan County in Kalen Province. Jiang Chung then said, the company will send a team member there and provide corresponding financial support. Of my last year's dividend, I will donate 800 million to the fund company. Then you will continue to operate and manage 500 million, and 300 million will be used in Anyuan County. Zhang Debeo was shocked. Director Jiang, you donated so much again? You know, since last year, Jiang Chung has invested some of the annual net profits of Maple Fire Group Company and its various subsidiaries into public welfare funds. But in addition to the company's investment, Jiang Cheng's own dividends will also be donated. Last year it was 500 million, and this year it was 800 million. How could other people donate so much if they couldn't even make enough money? Jiang Cheng waved his hand. After the new year, I will also personally go to Anyuan County. Since we are providing assistance, we must pay more attention to it. You must connect with them and sort out the assistance projects. Understood. Zhang Debeo nodded heavily. After arranging this matter, Jiang Chang started to prepare for the new year. Jiang Chengcheng has no plans to return to Guanglin for the Chinese New Year this year. Only after the new year, I will return to my hometown to pay New Year greetings and visit relatives. As for the reason, it was too troublesome to go back and clean up. Now Jiang Cheng and his family no longer live in Guanglin. For safety, it is convenient for bodyguards to protect them here. But Jiang Cheng is not very relieved to leave Jiang Yiping and Chen Ru in Guanglin. What's more, Jiang Cheng now has too much wealth, and it is very troublesome to go home. Let's make it simple. On the first day of the new year, just go back and say New Year's greetings. But this time the new year was a bit slow. Chen Ru and Jiang Yiping spent time tidying up their home in Pengqing and hung up lanterns. Jiang Cheng wrote the couplets himself, and Jiang Xinwan also helped polish the ink. She looked very happy wearing new clothes. Some are pretty stinky. At night, Jiang Chengcheng took Yu Xinran and began to study the meaning of life. It's been almost three years, and it's time to prepare for a second child. Stand guard. On the second day of the new year, Zhang Xiaoyong and Lin Yun drove a seven-seater commercial vehicle and took Jiang Cheng's family of five to Guanglin. Pengcheng is much closer to Guanglin. Even by car, it only takes four hours. Chen Ru sat in the front row, watching Guanglin getting closer and closer and was very happy. Chengzi, we are still friendly at home. I feel that celebrating the new year in Pengqing is not interesting. Jiang Xinwan poked her head, but couldn't see out of the window, and asked, Grandma, I like my hometown too, and I can play with Dudu. In Pengqing, she didn't have many friends. Even when playing, I don't have any company. All I can do is read and study every day. Yu Xinran smiled and said, Okay, I'll let you play with Dudu when we get home. Okay. Jiang Xinwan blinked and smiled. Jiang Cheng looked at Lin Jiang next to him and said, But now that you guys have come back to live, you probably won't live comfortably, right? Because of Jiang Cheng, even if Jiang Yiping returns to his hometown in Jiang Luo Township to grow vegetables, it is estimated that a large number of officials and distant relatives will come forward to get close to them and make their lives unhappy. Jiang Yiping said, Cheng Zi is right. Chen Ru sighed and said, Well, in the past, I was afraid that you were not good enough. 
so I wanted to find a place for you to work. But now it's okay. You are too good. But you also have a headache, and our lives are not so free anymore. I can only say that it is not easy to choose this path. Zhang Cheng smiled slightly. However, if we want to be open-minded, there will be gains and losses. Now that the family has no worries about food and drink, and Xin Wan is so smart, your dad and I should retire early and help take care of the baby. Chen Ru then said, As long as you two keep working hard and give birth to a big fat boy, we two young people can help take care of him. Yu Xinran's face turned slightly red. Zhang Cheng said seriously, No problem, mom. Just wait until you have your grandson this year. Chen Ru then grinned, very happy. Okay. Okay. After a while, we got off the expressway and headed towards Jiangluo Township along the scenic avenue. First, he paid homage to his ancestors at Zhang's ancestral hall, and then headed to the county town, directly to Jiang Ian's home to pay New Year's greetings. Chen Ru and Jiang Yiping went back to clean up their homes. Taking advantage of this time, Jiang Cheng and Yu Xinran took Jiang Xinwan to Qin Jin's home. I don't know why, but Jiang Xinwan especially likes to play with Dudu, who is already six years old. Moreover, when they were playing together, three-year-old Jiang Xinwan was more assertive and was the team leader. Although Dudu was taller, he was persuaded by Jiang Xinwan honestly and listened to her in everything. Makes everyone happy. Qin Jin, who has been staying in Guanglin, is obviously much fatter than when he was in college, and the Mediterranean on his head is very obvious, and his forehead is shining. Next to him, Zhang Luochen, with a six-month-old belly, was whispering to Yu Xinran. Zhang Xinwan was playing around with Qin Songyue. Zhang Cheng, are you ready to settle in Pingqing now? Qin Jin handed Zhang Cheng a cigarette and asked with a smile. Quit. Zhang Cheng waved his hand and did not answer. If nothing else happens, the main thing is to settle in Pingqing. Zhang Cheng didn't like smoking very much, and he only smoked occasionally after college. He officially quit when Xinran became pregnant with Zhang Xinwan. Qin Jin put away his cigarette and smiled. What about your house in Kyoto? Let's keep it for now. If we go to Kyoto, we can have a place to sleep. Zhang Cheng shrugged. Damn, you are such a rich man. Qin Jin complained. I heard that your kid is going to become the richest man in China? It's nothing. Zhang Cheng shook his head. It's you. You seem to be living a pretty comfortable life. Of course. I don't have a studio now. I just do some decoration. However, it is difficult to pay for things now, and I have a headache. Qin Jin said depressedly. Zhang Cheng looked at him and understood that he really had no intention of working in computer-related fields. Even if he chose to learn computers in the first place, he only learned it after watching Zhang Cheng learn it. But it is also true that many people do not engage in professional-related jobs after graduation. The most important thing is to live the life you like. Zhang Cheng smiled. Sometimes, I also think that if I hadn't been admitted to college, maybe we would have gone to Dongguan to work together. Qin Jian rolled his eyes at him. TCH, I see you are becoming a famous person in China step by step. Every time I go to bed, I wonder, have you really had brain surgery? Why do you feel better all of a sudden and keep learning more and more? The more awesome you are, you have a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and a PhD in four years, and now you are a fucking academician. I'm embarrassed to tell others that we sit at the same table. Jiang Qing laughed and then patted his shoulder lightly. I don't know. Suddenly I felt enlightened. I remembered things very firmly and calculated the calculations very accurately. Slowly I got to this point. However, our generation may have a hard time studying. In the future, when people like Dudu and Xinwan study, it will definitely be much better. I have already done preliminary research on biochips. Maybe in the near future, children will only need implants by inserting a biochip, you can greatly improve your memory ability. Qin Jin opened his eyes wide. Fuck, are you serious? Is this simply science fiction? Zhang Cheng raised the corner of his mouth slightly. Do you think I would tell lies to you? Qin Jin clenched his fist fiercely and said, Sister, why didn't you study it earlier? I struggled to death when I was studying. Ha ha. Zhang Cheng laughed heartily, suddenly remembering the days when he was reviewing for the college entrance examination. It has been nearly eight years. Time seemed to pass in the blink of an eye. Both of them have grown up and have their own families and children. Although their lives are very different, the memories they share are very profound. Sister, I must let do to catch Wan Wan. Qin Jin glanced at Qin Songyue who was following Jiang Xinwan and said gloomily, 
Jiang Cheng shook his head and smiled. I think it's difficult. They chatted with each other for a while, and then went to Jiang Ming's place to pay New Year's greetings. However, Jiang Ming's mental state seemed not to be very good, and he had a hat on his bare head. Although he still had a pleasant conversation with the two of them, something was obviously wrong. When leaving, Jiang Cheng took his wife, Su Lan Lan, and asked quietly. He, the examination showed that the cancer cells have spread again. We are planning to go to Hangzhou again after the new year. I hope the operation goes well. Su Lanlin's face was a little solemn, but she quickly relaxed her expression. Jiang Cheng, Qin Jin, you two are interested. Let me know if you need my help in Hangzhou. Jiang Cheng nodded. Okay. Su Lan Lan smiled slightly. After coming out of teacher Jiang Ming's place, Jiang Cheng frowned. Mirror, do you know about this? I don't know. I haven't heard of it before. Qin Jin shook his head. I hope the operation goes well. Jiang Cheng sighed. Cancer is indeed difficult to predict. Some people will not relapse after surgery and live a normal life until old age. But there may be relapses. And Jiang Cheng knew that if it recurred again, treatment would be more difficult. Alas, it would be great if there were specific drugs to treat cancer. When he thought of this, Jiang Cheng's eyes lit up slightly. Yes, it may be difficult for other people to study cancer, but Jiang Cheng has his own unique conditions. That is, he has mutated biological cells and the ability to simulate all things. Perhaps, Jiang Cheng can study ways to prevent and treat cancer cells from the perspective of studying biochips. When he thought of this, he already had a calculation in his mind. In the evening, Jiang Cheng's family had dinner at his uncle Jiang Yian's house and then set off back to Pingqing. All Guanglin's stores were transferred to Jiang Yian's family at a low price. They made good profits by opening their own stores. Jiang Cheng stayed in Pingqing for a week, and on the eighth day of the lunar month, he went to Hangzhou. Carlin Biotech. The company is headquartered in Hangzhou. Before that, it mainly developed and produced healthcare products and Chinese patent medicines. It is considered a relatively large biopharmaceutical company in Carlin Province. It covers an area of more than 500 acres and has a drug research center, drug testing center, etc. Jiang Cheng's foreign investment company, Biotech Investment Company, and Jiqing Investment Company, a subsidiary of Maple Fire Group, have already achieved control after investing. Last year, Yang Hui served as the general manager responsible for implementing Jiang Cheng's plan to transform and upgrade the biotechnology company. On the basis of the original Chinese patent medicine, it focused on biotechnology research, including protein chips, neuron research, and other fields. To this end, Jiang Cheng built a high-tech biotechnology research laboratory by increasing capital by 500 million yuan. Cooperate with Jiang Cheng's biochip research to provide corresponding neuron biomaterials. In order to show his emphasis on biotechnology, Jiang Cheng specially came to Carlin Biotechnology Company on the first day of the new year. This shocked Yang Hui. Although during the year-end summary conference, Jiang Cheng mentioned that he would vigorously develop biotechnology this year, he did not expect to come on the first day. Director Jiang, would you like to call the middle and senior leaders to hold a meeting? No, you call the current biotechnology R&D team over, and I'll have a discussion with them first. Jiang Cheng waved his hand. He was not here to deliver an important speech, but to do research. Yang Hui nodded, understood. At that moment, Yang Hui asked him to inform someone. Jiang Cheng first looked at the research equipment and simulated it once before returning to the small conference room. Listen to them report on their current research. At present, we have achieved the cultivation of C-type single crystal proteins through the guided crystal growth method, but the cultivation speed is relatively slow and the viability and replication ability are not strong. In addition, we have also made a breakthrough in neuronal cell culture. Jiang Cheng listened carefully to the report of the leaders of the research team, and then examined the single crystal proteins and neuronal cells they cultured. Through simulations in the virtual laboratory, Jiang Cheng felt that the preparation method of single crystal proteins needed to be improved, but the culture of neuron cells had already achieved certain results. You can make preliminary plans for the next step, that is to transform this neuron cell. It has been transformed into a system that can carry simple programs and implement information storage and information interaction functions according to the program. Of course, what is more important is to achieve a certain degree of replication through the energy supply of proteins and arrange it according to the Jiangshu Pulse neural network structure to become a powerful information storage device. By then, 
What people see or remember can be stored in such neuron cells through information interaction, and they can be searched and used in time when needed. Well done, Zhang Qing encouraged. Today is the first day of work after the new year. I came to Carlin Biotech specifically. I believe everyone knows why. Because biotechnology will be the second cutting-edge technology field that Maple Fire focuses on research and development. After everyone heard this, they immediately became energetic. Focus on R&D? Doesn't that mean that the spring of Carlin Biology is coming? You must know that the carbon-based chips just developed by Maple Fire Group have brought about major changes in the entire technology field. You may not be able to see it now, but I believe that in a year or two, carbon-based chips will be the only one in the market. Big. The market here is huge. It can completely create a new Intel-level giant company. Can Carlin creatures have such a day? Of course, Zhang Chang didn't know about their excited reveries. If he knew, he would definitely tell them to stop overthinking. The manufacturing of biochips will be in the newly established business department of Maple Fire Group Company. Carlin Biotechnology only provides neuron cells that meet the requirements. This company is not that awesome yet. However, because of the recurrence of teacher Jiang Ming's cancer, Jiang Cheng planned to help them create a protein chip that could prevent and treat cancer cells. Current protein chips are mostly used to screen for early cancer. Because through protein sequences, cancer cells can be analyzed, detected early, and treated. But the protein chip Jiang Cheng needs is a product of fused carbon nanochips. It can then enter the human body, prevent the spread of cancer cells, and at the same time stimulate the corresponding T-cells to kill cancer cells. Of course, for now, it is only a theoretical product of Jiang Cheng and requires further research and development. The culture of neuron cells is very good. Tomorrow I will ask the R&D personnel of the group company to come and conduct in-depth research and development. Jiang Cheng continued, Your team will continue to work hard on the culture. We will give feedback based on the research situation. Adjust the plan for you. Okay. Several people nodded in agreement. As for the single crystal protein chip, I will stay here for two weeks to guide you in in-depth research and formation of a brand new protein carbon-based chip. Zhang Cheng said, protein carbon-based chip? Everyone was a little confused and looked at each other with confused faces. Zhang Cheng raised the corner of his mouth slightly, you will know by then. With a smile on his face, Yang Hui said to everyone, everyone, please be serious. Director Jiang is personally here to guide our research and development. This is a very rare opportunity. Please open your eyes and study seriously. He is no better than the developers of these Kalen creatures. When he was in the Maple Fire Group, he heard too many legends about Jiang Cheng. In the laboratory, Jiang Cheng is a god. No matter what kind of research it is, as long as he takes a look at it, he will know what operations to take, what steps to take, and even what underlying problems exist. Well. Zhang Cheng's scientific research ability has been mythized by these people. He didn't know this. However, over the years, he has delved into the research and development and manufacturing of biology, chips, materials, weapons and other fields, and he has indeed gained some experience. In each major, he is completely qualified to judge professors. But he doesn't need these false names now. Being the youngest academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences is enough to explain everything. Everyone agreed. Then came their hard times. On just the next day, Zhang Cheng asked Maple Fire Group's purchasing personnel to sign a one-way supply agreement at Carlin Biotechnology Company for the supply of cultured neuron cells. At present, Peng Cheng's biochip R&D team has become familiar with a large number of new equipment and has digested and absorbed neuromorphic technology from the successful scientific research projects of Funghua and Shuemu Universities and is waiting for the next step of scientific research on this successfully cultured neuron cell. Once the scientific research is successful, their R&D team will immediately be transformed into a business unit, which will then become the three most powerful high-precision business units of the Maple Fire Group with the Maple Core Business Unit and the Display Technology Business Department. As for other subsidiaries, many people understand that except for Maple Fire Semiconductor Company, none of them are the core of Jiangqing Maple Fire Group. Only these business units, as well as semiconductor companies that prepare carbon-based chips, are the core of technology. Even the mobile phones and computers of Maple Fire Technology Company are all based on these companies, business divisions. Zhang Chang stayed and led this group of R&D personnel to begin an in-depth and intensive R&D process. The R&D director, named Chen Jiqiang, has a PhD in biomaterials and has been working on it for more than a year since he was recruited. 
In the preparation of single crystal protein chips, this guided growth method was proposed, which indeed has a certain research and development acumen. However, after Jiang Cheng arrived, he immediately improved the preparation method given and adopted the steam diffusion method to achieve rapid preparation. Dr. Jiang is really a great person. After that, Chen Jiqiang was completely convinced, and he implemented everything Jiang Cheng said and arranged to the letter. Of course, he would also ask questions during the implementation process. After Jiang Cheng's answer, everyone would look, suddenly aware, expression. Everyone is sighing, why does Jiang Cheng know so much? Two weeks later, Jiang Cheng, Chen Jiqiang, and the carbon-based chip R&D personnel transferred from the Maple Fire Group initially fused single crystal proteins with carbon nanotubes. The entire carbon nanotube is incorporated into the protein, allowing a certain degree of instruction execution. In the Petri dish, through the simplest instructions, the entire protein slowly wriggles and merges with the protein on the side. Through detection instruments, the bioelectricity in some active carbon nanotubes can be detected relatively clearly. However, because the bioelectricity is too weak, it cannot realize the modification and control of instructions. Of course, it would be terrible if you could order modifications. It is equivalent to Jiang Chong controlling the chip in the opponent's body simply by invading the other person's biochip in the future. Then this security problem will be huge. Even if one day Jiang Chong is able to achieve control, he must resolutely deny it and set up the highest authority to prevent major problems from arising. He cannot let biochips become something that everyone is afraid of, but let biochips benefit mankind. The success of fused carbon-based chips provides the possibility for Jiang Cheng's next move. That is, when the protein chip is in the body, it can sequence detect and distinguish cancer cells and achieve the most basic function. Let the proteins in the body no longer provide nutrients to these cancer cells. This step is another problem. Jiang Chang has no way to leave it to people like Qin Jiqiang. After much deliberation, he might as well continue it himself. Immediately afterwards, Jiang Chang recruited several hospital directors who were excellent in the field of cancer to work part-time on the project research and started his final battle. Jiang Chang believes that solving the cancer problem is no longer far away. February 22, 2019 on the day Jiang Cheng completed the preparation of protein carbon-based chips, Maple Fire Mobile held its spring press conference. Jiang Cheng did not attend this press conference. Mo Tianqing released the first 5G carbon-based chip mobile phone, Maple Fire Kind 7 mobile phone at the venue. It is thinner and more refined, and of course there are more choices in appearance colors, such as gradient colors and classic colors that highlight quality. It also uses the Phoenix J440 chip, and the price starts at 2,799 yuan. No longer stick to the price of 1999. The reason is very simple, because China's economy has developed rapidly in the past two years. Living standards have improved, wages have increased, and raw materials have also improved. If we stick to the 1,999 yuan range, we won't make money, and we won't be able to produce anything good. At least carbon-based chips are not available. The silicon-based chips that Maple Fire had previously stocked are used in the Phoenix 450 series that were originally planned for the Kind SE10, with prices starting at 1,799 yuan. Of course, there are many new products released this time, such as ecological chain products, tablets, notebooks, etc., but they are all normal operations and Jiang Chang basically has little control. Sometimes he feels that as the company's system becomes more and more perfect, employees, middle and senior managers perform their own duties, and he just manages the general direction and listens to the reports. The huge carriage moved forward relying on its own inertia. Immediately afterwards, Jiang Chang continued to develop protein carbon-based chips. This time, far from being just the R&D personnel of Carlin Biotech, Jiang Chang joined the Maple Fire Group and established a research team of more than 500 people through the recruitment of researchers. Hao Yongjun, Zhang Ming, Yao Xuanyu and others were also brought over to use neuromorphism in protein carbon-based chips. Through neuromorphism, programs can be written in a way that biological cells understand. This process is difficult to say, but not difficult to say. The key is that Jiang Cheng's team has achieved neuromorphism through research, paving the way for further research and development. By May, Jiang Cheng and his team finally realized a brand new protein carbon-based chip, which was named Bayes Guardian Protein. By adding the sequence detection function of the biochip, the protein can automatically distinguish normal cells and cancer cells in the human body, and through the loading of the program, 
the neuromorphic function can be realized, so that this type of protein can give early warning to other proteins and no longer provide nutrients to cancer cells. On this basis, Bayes protector protein can also stimulate T cells, allowing these cells to kill cancer cells. Inside the Carlin Biotechnology Laboratory, more than 20 laboratory workers gathered around Jiang Cheng and Chan Jiqiang, looking at the petri dish in front of them, which contained part of the collected biological tissue that was cultured and filled with cancer cells. Jiang Cheng, wearing a laboratory protective suit, very carefully injected the newly developed Bayes Guardian protein into the petri dish with an injection and then recorded the entire process through multiple electron microscopes. Everyone stared with bated breath, watching the cell level movements displayed on the screen. In the display, there is a carbon nanotube inside the Bayes Guardian protein, which is very magical. But this effect is not effective. It takes effect very quickly as soon as the injection is given. Jiang Qing waved his hand and said, Everyone, go ahead and work on some development steps, and then think about it. Keep an eye on this experiment, Ji Qiang, and take good notes. Okay, I guess it will take a day or two to show greater results. No, obvious results will be seen within one day. You have to be more careful. Jiang Cheng reminded. Because in the virtual laboratory inside the body, he and Xiao Feng have completed many research processes. In the in vivo laboratory, he can increase protein activity through stimulation, thereby speeding up the reaction. Judging from in vivo experiments, the effect is obvious. But real experiments take time, and Jiang Cheng didn't have time to watch. After giving instructions, he assigned tasks to relevant personnel, especially how Yang Jun and Zhang Ming who came to carry out the experimental project. How have you been feeling these past few months? Jiang Cheng asked when he came to the experimental area where the three of them were staying. How Yong Jun chuckled. I didn't expect that biology and carbon-based chips could be fused together. It feels really incredible. Zhang Ming rolled her eyes at him and said, Don't you remember the neuromorphism we studied together? I think that at that time, the master already had an overall research and development plan for the entire project. Yao Shuanyu even scratched his bald head and said, Academician Jiang, you are so awesome. The successful research on this protein should be a death sentence for cancer. In the future, no cancer cells should be able to escape this protein. Zhang Meng smiled again and said, Master's name is also very nice, by Zay Guardian Protein, which sounds very noble at first glance. Zhang Cheng said angrily, You, don't flatter me. I'm here to tell you that Zhang Ming will take the lead and complete the paper on a neuromorphic algorithm for sensing cell sequences in this research process. Come out? Zhang Ming blinked. This won't leak the secret, right? I asked you to focus on this small point, not to write everything. Jiang Cheng shook his head. I think this paper is enough for you to complain about. Hao Yong Jun was full of confidence, patted his chest and said, Don't worry, we will write it well. Jiang Cheng nodded then looked at Yao Shuanyu and said, You have a good understanding. Come and study for a PhD with me. Really? Yao Shuanyu didn't know Jiang Chang would say this, and he was stunned. What does it mean to study Jiang Cheng's PhD? Even a blind man understands it. That means an extremely powerful reputation and unlimited possibilities for the future. Even the president of Shuemu University values three points and begs to stay. If Shuemu is not retained, other schools will rush forward hoping to teach in their school. One year as an associate professor and three years as a full professor is not a dream at all. Zhang Ming smiled and patted his head. Call senior sister. Yao Shuanyu scratched his head and first said to Jiang Cheng, Thank you, teacher. And then he sweetly called to the two of them, senior brother and senior sister-in-law. Zhang Ming blushed and said, Call me senior sister. Okay, sister-in-law. Zhang Cheng smiled slightly. Okay. You guys take this opportunity to sort out your thoughts. I guess it's time to go back to Kyoto when the experimental results come out in the next two days. For this super project, a group of people continued research and development in Hangzhou. It was almost day and night. It felt like nearly three months had passed in the blink of an eye. But the results are remarkable. The next day, Jiang Chang discussed the follow-up matters with Yang Hui in the temporary office. The next step is to apply for clinical trials and register relevant patents and trademarks. Jiang Cheng reminded. For now, we need to speed up the first and second phase clinical trials, and we will have to apply for them in the next two days. Understood. Yang Hui nodded. It's just about the patent. Aren't we afraid that others will know about it and misappropriate it? We are strong now, and patents are our weapons. 
Jiang Cheng shook his head and said, Moreover, even if these patents are known, who else but Jiang Cheng can prepare carbon-based chips? Who could achieve this level of neuromorphism? On the contrary, through these patent barriers in the future, there will be a big mountain that will stop those foreigners from catching up. If they want to infringe patents, they must not only be punished for invading their families and property, but also powerful sanctions must be implemented through the weapon of carbon-based chips. Just as Yang Hui was about to speak, a quick voice came in. Director Jiang, Director Jiang, the results of the experiment are out. Chen Jicheng stayed up all night and stayed in the laboratory, staring at the observation results from time to time. The recorder changed the dial three times and recorded in detail the changes in the Bayes Guardian protein in the Petri dish. At around 10 o'clock in the morning the next day, Chun Ji Chiang's heart jumped even more happily. He found that after one night, the activity of the entire Guardian protein became stronger, but those cancer cells showed signs of decline. A large number of T cells were stimulated to produce and were constantly attacking those cancer cells. By this time point, the calculated cancer cells not only stopped spreading, but began to shrink, shrunk by nearly one-sixth, and this rate is still continuing. Success. Success. At this time, Chen Jicheng's only thought was this, and he jumped up, then immediately took the record and ran to Jiang Cheng. Yang Hui frowned slightly. Jicheng, don't be anxious. If you have anything to do, tell me slowly. Mr. Yang, I'm just so happy. Chun Jicheng didn't expect Yang Hui to be there and was a little embarrassed. Jiang Cheng was very indifferent and waved his hand. Okay, be careful next time. We who do research and development have rough predictions in mind. Is it possible that the experimental results are very different from what we judged? Chen Jicheng finally calmed down. That's not true. We found that after 18 hours, the number of cancer cells in the culture dish was reduced by one-sixth, and it continues to decrease. Well, it's pretty much what I expected. Just keep watching. It should be faster later. When the cancer cells are almost eliminated, you can focus on the follow-up guardian proteins and T-cells. Jiang Cheng said lightly, and then sent him back. Chun Jicheng responded solemnly, then turned and left. Yang Hui was a little speechless, he is good at it, but he is not stable enough. Director Jiang and your students are better, they are excellent and stable. They still have a lot to learn. Jiang Cheng was non-committal. After discussing it for a while, Yang Hui went ahead to arrange the work. In line with Jiang Cheng's prediction, on the third day, Chen Jicheng and others found that all the cancer cells had died and were slowly eaten by phagocytes. The entire biological tissue was smaller and appeared healthy. As for those white-colored guard proteins, after no new cancer cells were detected, the program inside them came into play and no longer stimulated the production of T-cells, and those T-cells slowly faded away. The guardian protein still exists in observations, but its lifespan is only about three months. This means that these large amounts of white Zay guardian protein can still protect the body for at least three months, and then they will slowly die and be excreted from the body. If the protein dies, the carbon nanotubes inside will also lose their function. Generally speaking, it achieved the effect designed by Jiang Cheng and achieved the success of the experiment. On May 15th, Jiang Cheng announced the success of the experiment in the laboratory and received long-lasting applause. Everyone involved, knows the importance of this whitening guardian protein. We also know where its future value lies. On the day, the experiment was successful. Yang Hui had already found the first batch of volunteers for the experiment. The experiment was conducted at the Carlin Cancer Hospital. The first experiment was a controlled experiment. Some were injected with Bayes guardian protein, and some were injected with useless potions. All relevant data will be recorded throughout the process. After all, it is a brand new biotechnology product, but it still needs to go through a lot of procedures to be used clinically. Jiang Cheng Funghua Group's name is there, which does save a lot of trouble, but necessary experiments are indispensable. On this day, Yu Xinran also came from Pingqing. Jiang Cheng called her and planned to visit teacher Jiang Ming together. He came to Carlin Cancer Hospital just after the new year to start a new round of chemotherapy. Jiang Chang had been busy with scientific research and had no time to come to visit. Now that the experiment was basically successful, it was time to come and report the good news to him. Yu Xinran was still a little in disbelief after learning that Jiang Chang had successfully prepared Bayes Guardian protein. On the way to Carlin Cancer Hospital from the airport, I kept asking, Jiang Chang, is this protein really so powerful? Oh my god, 
How can you be so powerful? Zhang Cheng smiled. Don't you know if your husband is strong or not? Yu Xinran rolled her eyes at him and let him touch her belly gently. Wearing a simple and elegant long skirt, her belly is slightly swollen. Because the time is short, it is not particularly obvious, and it has not exceeded the size of a bear. I heard it's a boy. Yu Xinran leaned over gently and said with a smile. Jiang Qing nodded happily. Hey, I guess my mother is very happy. That's for sure. You don't care. You're busy doing experiments, and you don't have time to teach. Yu Xinran snorted. Isn't this a special situation? Jiang Cheng shook his head. Originally, I didn't want to study this protein so urgently, but then I thought about it. If this thing can prevent and cure cancer, it will be of great benefit. At least, Teacher Jiang will not suffer those hardships. I understand. Yu Xinran was naturally reasonable and gently squeezed Jiang Cheng's big hand. Zhang Xiaojong was driving the car, and Lin Yun was sitting in the passenger seat. Both of them drove seriously and chatted occasionally, so the atmosphere was not depressing. When they came to Carlin Cancer Hospital for the second time, Jiang and Cheng felt incomprehensible. I remember the last time I came here was at the end of 2012. Now, more than six years have passed, and I have come to this place again. This time, Jiang Cheng walked in front, Zhang Xiaoyong carried the fruit, and Lin Yun walked behind. Soon they arrived at the bed where Jiang Ming lived. But before entering the room, I heard crying. Jiang Cheng secretly yelled, and immediately walked into the room quickly. Under Jiang Ming's bare head, he looked very haggard. He seemed to have lost a lot of weight. His eye sockets were sunken, the bones on his face were bulging, and he was wrapped in some fine wrinkles of skin. The eyes are also a little dull. Jiang Ming's daughter Jiang Zian was lying on the hospital bed, holding Jiang Ming's rugged hand and crying bitterly. The master's wife Su Lan Lan on the side was wiping tears secretly, looking extremely haggard. This situation is completely different from six years ago. Teacher Jiang, Jiang Cheng shouted loudly. Jiang Ming's face turned slightly rosy, and his eyes became a little brighter. Although he tried hard, his voice was still a little weak. Ah, Jiang Cheng, you're here. When Su Lan Lan saw Jiang Cheng and the two coming, she immediately wiped away her tears and smiled. Jiang Cheng, Xinran, why are you here? Come on, sit down quickly. Ziyin, call someone. Jiang Ziyin wiped her tears with her fair arms and squeezed out a smile under her red eyes. Brother Jiang Cheng, sister-in-law. Then he stepped aside and got out of the way. Yu Xinran's nose was also sore and her eyes were a little red. Teacher Jiang. Jiang Cheng sat on the edge of the bed, holding Jiang Ming's hands, with a solemn expression on his face. Mrs., how is the teacher's situation now? Now he is undergoing chemotherapy, once every two weeks, but his condition is getting worse and worse. The doctor said that he may not live long, Su Lan Lan said in a steady voice, but it became softer and softer later, with some sobbing. The corner of Jiang Ming's mouth twitched slightly, and he whispered hoarsely, I want to give up the treatment. I want to go back to Guanglin early to see the mountains and water. It's too uncomfortable here. Jiang Cheng said confidently, Yes, teacher. You can't give up your belief in life. Let's go fishing in Jiang Luo Reservoir together. Okay. Jiang Ming smiled hard. You're so busy, you don't need to come see me. I'm so handsome when I'm not in class. I'm ugly. It will get better. Jiang Cheng patted his hand gently. It was so quiet inside the ward. Jiang Cheng thought for a while, then looked back at Su Lan Lan. Teacher, my company has researched a biotechnology product to prevent and treat cancer. It is currently undergoing clinical trials at Carlin Cancer Hospital. This product is very effective. Originally, I wanted to wait after the clinical trial is completed and officially launched on the market. It will be used by Teacher Jiang. But depending on the current situation, it will have to be used in advance. I don't know. Yu Xinran supported Jiang Zian to comfort her, and now she raised her head and said, Yes, Teacher Jiang, Jiang Cheng went to study biotechnology right after the Chinese New Year when he found out that your condition had relapsed. I haven't seen him for more than half a year. Su Lan Lan asked anxiously, Jiang Cheng, is this true? It's true. It's a controlled trial now. All volunteers are selected and relevant agreements must be signed, Jiang Cheng said, but if it is used on Teacher Jiang, an agreement also needs to be signed. There is no way. After all, I am a newbie. The technology still needs clinical validation. Su Lan Lan looked at Jiang Ming. She agreed, but it depends on Jiang Ming's opinion. 
Jiang Ming grinned, it's okay. I've already done this. Jiang Cheng, bring me the agreement and I'll sign it myself. Jiang Cheng nodded and then made a phone call. After a while, Chun Jiqiang came over with a scientific researcher. Seeing Jiang Cheng, he hurriedly said, Dr. Jiang, Dong Yu, you are also here. Well, this is my teacher, please give me the agreement. Jiang Cheng nodded and said directly without having time to say more to him. Chen Jiqiang immediately complied and brought the agreement and pin. Su Lan Lan took it and took a look. This is an agreement for volunteers. In other words, Carlin Biotech selects them for clinical trials of new drugs. All treatment costs will be borne by Carlin Biotech. If they die unfortunately, they will be compensated for funeral expenses and death compensation. The compensation is 20 times the per capita disposable income of urban residents nationwide in the previous year, which is expected to be 786,000 yuan. In addition, there are other compensations totaling more than 1 million yuan. I'll sign it. Su Lan Lan was very determined at the moment. Go, go. I'll do it myself. I'm not a vegetable. Jiang Ming shook his head, took the agreement, took a pin, and signed his name a little crookedly. In triplicate. Jiang Cheng, I believe in you. When I get better, let's go fishing together. You can't break the appointment. Jiang Ming's survival consciousness suddenly surged at this moment, and he was full of expectations for Jiang Cheng's new medicine. Jiang Cheng nodded confidently, definitely. Jiang Ming's trust in Jiang Cheng was instantly elevated to the highest level. Although Jiang Cheng was confident about this, he was still under great pressure. After all, the person in front of him is a teacher he respects. To be honest, if it weren't for him, Jiang Chengqing might have received several punishments in high school and dropped out of school early to work. Ji Chiang, contact the doctor here, get tested as soon as possible and formulate a medication plan. Jiang Cheng then stood up and ordered Chen Ji Chiang. Chen Ji Chiang understands even more that this object is the one he needs to focus on. To this end, he plans to come specifically to coordinate medication and testing. Understood. I'll make arrangements now. Injecting Bayes protector protein is not done casually. The amount of protector protein to be injected needs to be determined based on the number of cancer cells in the body. At the same time, corresponding nutritional supplements are needed during the treatment process. Jiang Cheng and Yu Xinran did not leave, planning to wait and see the situation after the protein injection. Yu Xinran accompanied Jiang Zian and Su Lan Lan to talk, while Jiang Cheng told Jiang Ming about some of his new research status at the bedside highlighting the brilliance and specialness of this technology. Let him establish in his mind the confidence that under this treatment, all those cancer cells will be eliminated and his body functions will slowly recover. By the time Chen Jiqiang came with the doctor for examination, Jiang Ming's eyes were bright and his face was full of recovery. Jiang Cheng felt that this was anger. Soon, Chen Jiqiang and others formulated the corresponding dosage and injected a large amount of Bayes Guardian protein into Jiang Ming's blood using intravenous drip. Then, through blood exchange, these Guardian proteins detect the presence of cancer cells in the tissue and then go to work. In this process, Jiang Cheng abandoned conventional methods such as nanorobots and instead played the role of biological proteins and biological cells. The Guardian proteins have very weak bioelectricity and the programs they carry are very simple. And what really works are the cells in the body. However, this protein has the ability to detect the sequence of cancer cells and can exchange this information with other proteins that provide nutrients to cells, allowing them to identify ourselves and the enemy and no longer provide nutrients to cancer cells. This method was pioneered by Jiang Cheng and Xiao Feng through the in vivo laboratory, and it has indeed achieved very good results. Different from chemotherapy, Chemotherapy kills both good and bad cells indiscriminately. It also damages white blood cells and immune cells. It is a way to kill a thousand enemies and possibly damage yourself by 10,000. After the intravenous drip, Jiang Ming was a little tired and slowly fell asleep. But Su Lan Lan clearly saw that Jiang Ming slept soundly this time, without any pain or pain. Of course he is breathing, not dead. Jiang Cheng, Xinran, thank you so much. Su Lan Lan suddenly shed tears and said, holding Jiang Cheng's hands. Jiang Cheng smiled slightly. I didn't do anything. Originally, developing biotechnology was also my company's development plan. Your teacher is truly lucky to have you two outstanding students. Su Lan Lan said with emotion. Yu Xinran also said, Master's wife, Jiang Cheng and I will stay here while you go and rest for a while. 
No, 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 you're busy with things. Just go and I'll be here. Su Lan Lan said hurriedly. It doesn't matter. We two have nothing else to do these days. Zhang Cheng waved his hand. Several people pushed and pushed for a while, but they all stayed. Is Zian graduating this year? During the chat, Jiang Cheng glanced at Jiang Zian and asked. In the past, she had not yet taken the college entrance examination. Unexpectedly, she would graduate in the blink of an eye. Yes, she studied mathematics and was preparing to take the postgraduate entrance examination. However, because of her father's incident in the first half of the year, she was not in the mood to take the postgraduate entrance examination. Su Lan Lan sighed. Jiang Zian said, Brother Jiang Cheng, I want to take the postgraduate entrance examination at Kyoto University. I can't take the exam this year. I will continue next year. The mathematics department of Kyoto University is indeed very strong. Then you have to work hard. Jiang Qing encouraged, I will take the time to send you some questions. Practice hard. I believe you will succeed. Thank you, Brother Jiang Chang. In the evening, Qin Ji Chiang and the doctor came to check and found that the spread of cancer cells had stopped. Some T cells had been produced, and white blood cells had also been mobilized. It seemed that a war was going on inside Jiang Ming's body. But Jiang Ming felt good, but had a slight fever, and his body was warm. Knowing that the situation was improving, Jiang Chang and the two did not stay any longer, but returned to the hotel to rest. The effect of Bai Zhe's guardian protein quickly demonstrated its power. Like other clinical volunteers, the cancer cells in Jiang Ming's body are being killed quickly. Without nutritional supplements, the fighting capacity of the cancer cells has become dregs. They are being attacked by various benign cells in the body and have been reduced by one-sixth from the next day, reduced by one-half by the second day, and finally on the fourth day, no cancer cells could be detected. This confused the doctors at Carlin Cancer Hospital. With this thing, what else would a cancer hospital do? Where else is surgery needed? Did you undergo chemotherapy? Many doctors have a vague feeling that cancer may become a truly terminal disease. It may even be a condition that will never appear again. Half a month later, with the supplement of various nutrients, the blood color on Jiang Ming's face and arms appeared visibly with the naked eye. He was no longer so skinny, but had a bit of fleshiness. My spirits are getting better and better, and I can joke regularly. When Jiang Chang came to visit him, he had already gotten up from the bed and was doing some simple exercise. Jiang Chang, I feel better. I'm in great health. Can I be discharged from the hospital? I've been staying here for more than half a year, and I feel like I'm going to get moldy if I stay here any longer. Jiang Ming asked with a smile. Jiang Cheng shook his head. Your previous treatment still caused some damage to your body. I'll stay here for half a month and observe. It happens that the company also needs to collect some follow-up treatment records. That's it, that's okay. I'll continue to live here. Zhang Ming agreed immediately. Su Lan Lan saw Jiang Chang coming and was very enthusiastic. She pulled him to sit down, poured water and peeled apples. Jiang Chang, please ignore him. His energy and blood have improved a lot in the past few days, and he is restless. I always want to go back to Guanglin. I. I don't have one. Zhang Ming's face turned slightly red. He wanted to cure his illness and leave as soon as possible. Don't stay here all the time. Firstly, he would feel uncomfortable, and secondly, Zhang Cheng's company would have to pay. Zhang Cheng helped to save his life. So why do we have the nerve to drag it here all the time? Zhang Cheng smiled and gently held Zhang Ming's hand. Be in a good mood, eat more, sleep more, and exercise properly. I think I can be discharged from the hospital soon. Yeah. Zhang Ming was very happy. I am extremely grateful to the student in front of me. He taught a good student. Before a few people said anything, a group of people walked in. The one at the front of the row was a bit fat, wearing a white coat and black rimmed glasses. As soon as he saw Zhang Cheng, he immediately hurried over and said in a very low posture, Director Zhang? Zhang Cheng was a little confused, but he looked like the dean on the bulletin board. Chen Bin. Dean Chuan, hello. Director Jiang. The efficacy of this newly developed drug by your company is simply great. I wonder if I can step aside and want to talk to you about cooperation. Chen Bin's posture was very low, with a cheerful smile. Jiang Cheng waved his hand. The new drug is still in clinical trials, and we do not plan to cooperate at the moment. It doesn't matter. Carlin Cancer Hospital is willing to cooperate in the next step of clinical trials. Of course, we hope that we can cooperate more closely. What does Dean Chun mean? 
Jiang Cheng asked with a calm face. Judging from the current efficacy, your company's new drug will provide great help in cancer treatment. I wonder if we can reach a cooperation and specialize in new drug treatment programs at Carlin Cancer Hospital. Chen Bin said euphemistically. As the director said, this drug is very effective in treating cancer and can also greatly relieve patients' pain. Our drug will not only cooperate with your hospital, but also with major cancer treatment hospitals. I understand that we want to be the first hospital to provide professional treatment. Through these clinical trials, our doctors will form a new cancer treatment plan with you and better serve patients. Chen Bin naturally understood. Jiang Cheng's medicine could not be exclusively supplied, but after several days of thinking, he came up with this plan. Although Jiang Cheng's medicine will be fully rolled out, at least when patients come to receive treatment, they will recognize that Carlin Cancer Hospital is the first hospital to use Bayes Guardian protein treatment, and it also has a complete auxiliary treatment plan to achieve the greatest benefit. The therapeutic effect will become famous by then. Perhaps the first thing those patients think of is Carlin Cancer Hospital. I think he is the most professional. With the promotion of Jiangqing's new drugs, some surgical procedures will disappear, and some chemotherapy and radiotherapy will no longer be used. This is a huge challenge for their hospital and a huge drop in revenue. When there was no way to stop it, it became their early planning and consideration to change the treatment strategy and switch charging items. After all, although medicine is very effective, it cannot be taken casually. Corresponding examinations, auxiliary treatment, nutritional matching, etc. are needed. From this, their hospital can continue to achieve certain benefits. It's just that it can't be as high as the original treatment. Jiang Cheng glanced at the slightly fat Dean, but he didn't expect the other party to have this realization. In this case, you will contact Yang Hui, general manager of Carlin Biology Company, for specific cooperation matters. After all, we are all Carlin people and can take care of yes, we will take care of it accordingly. Then I, Chun Bin, would like to thank you first. Chun Bin was overjoyed after hearing this, so he left without disturbing Jiang Cheng. Jiang Cheng, seemed to be able to feel that with the appearance of Baize's guardian protein, many people would come to inquire about the news. Sure enough, before Jiang Cheng could say anything else, a call came from Kyoto. But it was Igua Bin. Jiang Cheng, why did we hear here that your company has developed a drug to treat cancer? Igua Bin was also confused. When did your company enter the medical industry? He was in charge of industry and had a basic understanding of Jiang Cheng's Funghua group, but he never thought that a phone call would come to him to inquire. Jiang Qing asked strangely, I wonder where Ministry got the news? An old leader. Iguabin explained, Well, it seems to have some preliminary results. It is currently undergoing clinical trials. This? Iguabin was speechless. Why did you suddenly cross over into pharmaceuticals? This thing is related to carbon-based chips, so it's not particularly cross-border. Jiang Cheng said, Forget it. I don't know the details even if I ask, but I estimate that if your thing is really effective, it would be really useful. How many people are suffering from cancer? Iguabin thought about it. Come to Kyoto if you have time. If you say so, let's sit down. Okay. Zhang Cheng responded and then hung up the phone. I understand in my heart that some senior leaders may also be affected by cancer, and Zhang Cheng's new drug is equivalent to giving them a new hope. But Zhang Cheng didn't want to get too involved in high-level affairs. He is just a scientific researcher and just does his own thing. However, the future pricing of this guardian protein needs to be carefully studied. Knowing that Jiang Chang had many things to do, Jiang Ming had a conversation with him and urged him to leave. After Jiang Ming's physical condition improved significantly, Jiang Zian also returned to school to prepare for her graduation defense and other matters. Su Lan Lan held Jiang Ming's hand tightly and said, Thanks to Jiang Chang. Without the medicine he developed, I'm afraid you wouldn't be able to pass this test. Yes, this child is really outstanding. I am extremely proud of having taught him all my life. Jiang Ming was filled with emotion. If Jiang Cheng hadn't arrived, he would have really been ready to give up treatment and return to Guanglin to spend his last few days. Sometimes, people can have a premonition that the end of their lives is coming. On that day, Jiang Ming felt that he would not be able to survive the next round of chemotherapy. He is a great benefactor to our family. Su Lan Lan patted the back of his hand. Um, sure enough, after the clinical trial carried out at Carlin Cancer Hospital, the news spread quickly due to its miraculous curative effect. Some patients who received treatment improved rapidly, 
and the first few volunteers were even ready to be discharged. Although they had a confidentiality agreement and they did not spread it everywhere, their relatives, friends, and even patients in the same ward could not stop it. A piece of news slowly spread. That is, Carlin Cancer Hospital has a new drug to treat cancer, and the effect is very obvious. Several patients with advanced cancer have been miraculously saved, but these messages have become shameless advertisements on the internet. Some people think that Carlin Cancer Hospital is advertising, but word of mouth spread from one to two, and then to three. For a time, the number of patients coming to Carlin Cancer Hospital for treatment increased significantly, and they all came after new drugs. However, the drug is still in the clinical trial stage. For this reason, Carlin Biological Company, Carlin Health Department, and other departments have applied to the State Pharmacy Administration, hoping to use special channels to speed up the breadth of experiments and approve the use as soon as possible. But no matter how fast it is, it will still take at least a year. All we can say is that the final compromise is to expand the scope to a certain extent in the name of clinical trials. But this doesn't work for caring creatures either. After expanding the scope, the cost becomes even greater. You should know that the experimental phase is free. But soon, China's top leaders made a decision, and the second and third phases of clinical trials were conducted simultaneously, and people outside the scope were allowed to apply to join on their own. Of course, the patient must pay part of the cost out of pocket. Jiang Chang made calculations and considered the nature of the experiment and agreed to charge a drug cost of 10,000 to 50,000 yuan depending on the treatment situation. Relevant matters are written into the agreement. In this way, it will only take a little more than half a year to complete the clinical trial. Then we will track the later efficacy and side effects. As long as there are no major problems, the drug will be approved and sold normally. The development of Bayes Guardian protein was just a temporary idea. Zhang Cheng's focus was still on biochips. Therefore, after signing the agreement with the country, Jiang Chang left the follow-up matters to Yang Hui. I took the time to visit Fenghua AR slash VR technology company. Under the leadership of Dong Junyu, the company has launched AR smart glasses and VR virtual reality equipment and is currently preparing to launch the second generation of AR smart glasses. As for the Maple Fire VR virtual game, Maple Fire Network Technology Company has launched China's first World War virtual game competition. But for now, the influence is limited to this circle. VR equipment is relatively expensive. Except for those game enthusiasts and VR circle friends, almost no one will choose to spend 3,999 yuan to buy Maplefire's newly launched VR virtual reality equipment. Even those who use it say yes. But even so, nearly 100,000 people in the huge Chinese market have purchased VR virtual reality equipment, and 75% of them are playing World War. The Maple Fire game platform also has a dedicated virtual game area. In addition to games such as World War, produced by Maple Fire, other virtual game companies also took this opportunity to cooperate with Maple Fire and put more than 10 games on the shelves. The gradually enriching virtual games and the gradually expanding group have given Zhou Chinggan and Dong Junyu full confidence in this field. Because this is the area of development that Jiang Cheng is interested in. These years have proven that Jiang Cheng's vision is extremely unique, and he has achieved great results in every field he entered. Now they must stick to their original aspirations and work hard, so that they will have the right to speak in this field in the future. At this moment, Jiang Cheng was competing with several technicians from the company. 10v10. You can select commanders inside, and the commander sits on an aircraft carrier. In addition, there are two cruisers, two destroyers, three frigates, and two submarines. The entire battle took place in the sea, that is, the naval battle of Guam. For the sake of fairness, both sides chose the same configuration, American warships. As the commander, Zhang Cheng saw the control room in front of him and the sea situation ahead. The radar display in the control room flashed. It was actually hundreds of nautical miles away from the opponent's naval formation, but after discovering it, it began a missile attack. The early warning aircraft maintains altitude, and the F-35B fighter jets are ready to take off. Zhang Chang issued the order, Submarines 07 and 09 have entered wartime status. This is not Zhang Cheng's first time playing, and he is very skilled in the operational arrangements of the entire fleet. Dong Junyu was controlling a destroyer and issued a request for instructions. The target is found to be launching missiles. 03 applies for interception. Intercept. Zhang Cheng agreed. I saw two missiles flying from the right side. 
As soon as they took off, they turned and flew forward. The entire naval battle is completely different from that during World War II. It is a battle beyond visual range. Basically, the possibility of seeing the enemy from the sea is very small. This makes some people feel less cold. As a result, weapons used during World War II will be chosen for combat. That battle was much more refreshing. The enemy ship in front of me was bombarding me. While giving instructions, I also had to pay attention to firing the shells. But those are weapons of the past. Many people understand that future wars will first occur beyond visual range. The same is true for the World War. Landing that Maple Fire Network technology is currently preparing to release, both from the World War II period and the past 10 years or so. Grab the beach, grab the beach, grab the beach of an island. The weapon configuration of both sides can also be set. Basically, it is the principle of equality of strength. At that time, rocket launchers could also be used, and the launch scene was really spectacular. It's simply a heavenly road. When Jiang Chung tried it out, he thought that everyone would compete to control this unit. Of course, this game chapter is not expected to be available to the public until the end of June, and it is currently in closed beta. As for some idiots who thought this was an insinuation, Jiang Cheng scoffed. If the other side had matching weapons and troops, the Saos would be able to climb trees. Although the enemy cannot be seen in front of them, in order to increase the playability of the game, players can also switch to the carrier-based aircraft perspective for control. This feeling comes, you can fly in the sky, fly close to enemy ships, and fight enemy aircraft. Unfortunately, although Jiang Chong has simplified the operation, not everyone can adapt to flying. As soon as the carrier-based aircraft was reversed and the real picture was displayed in front of them, people immediately fainted and most people would faint and fall to the ground. Someone has made statistics on the forum. There is a person who does not believe in evil. He has tested this carrier-based aircraft thousands of times and vomited it thousands of times. Finally, he has developed his mentality and willpower. He can operate the carrier-based aircraft freely in the sky through virtual equipment. Flying, you can also do some falling leaves and cobra maneuvers, worshipped by everyone. And it is said that the Air Force already wants this seedling. Just using the operator, without connecting to the nerves, it has already shown such huge potential and the Chinese army has already focused its attention on this game. But Jiang Qingdu didn't know this. After operating freely, he completely annihilated the enemy forces and won the victory at the cost of sacrificing three battleships. After taking off the VR virtual glasses, Jiang Chung closed his eyes for a while and regained his sense of reality. After waiting for a while, he said to Dong Junyu on the side, The competition is still very interesting, but it is a pity that this method of operation is not refreshing enough. Director Jiang, our equipment is already very powerful. There is no VR equipment on the market that can achieve the almost completely real virtual feeling of our equipment. We cannot be arrogant and complacent. Jiang Cheng shook his head. We must continue to work hard for subsequent equipment. We cannot just update the chip, but the entire equipment technology must be gradually improved. In the future, after our new brain-computer interface is developed, we must realize consciousness control. Consciousness control? Dong Junyu was a little surprised. The technicians following Kai Hai listened carefully to Jiang Cheng's speech. His ideas represented the direction of development. And Jiang Cheng's ideas are even more groundbreaking. It makes people feel a little bit unrestrained. The only difference is that Jiang Cheng realized these ideas one by one through research and development. Well, from the current point of view, it is technically possible to realize it. Jiang Cheng's lips raised slightly. That is the successful development of Guardian proteins, which makes it possible to integrate carbon-based chips with biological cells. Of course, this matter is just a possible scientific research plan, and Jiang Chang still needs time to slowly perfect and realize it. Next on the list is the research and development of memory biochips. This research and development work is not in Carlin Biotechnology, but in the newly established biochip division of Maple Fire Group, where a group of R&D personnel are gathered to conduct experiments on neurons cultured by Carlin Biotechnology. But when Jiang Chang left Carlin Biotech, in addition to the follow-up issues of Bayes' Guardian Protein, he also left them with a scientific research topic. That is the development of artificial organs. For example, artificial eyeballs and cochlear implants will be connected to corresponding nerves through interfaces to realize information interaction, so that blind people can see and deaf people can hear. This is a cause that benefits the people, 
and Jiang Cheng still hopes to realize it as soon as possible. Even with myopia, Jiang Chengdu feels that he can achieve certain improvements through his own technology. Compared to developing games to make money, these technologies are indeed more beneficial and can greatly enhance the social visibility and reputation of Jiangqing Enterprises. The arrival of June means that the new generation of Maple Fire EX series mobile phones will be released soon. This time around, Jiang Chong had been doing scientific research in Hangzhou City, Carlin Province, so he didn't go out to try out the prototype. He just checked Emo Tianqing's design and prototype information through internal emails. It is still a folding screen. But the overall design is more optimized and the thinness and lightness have been improved. In addition, the 5G baseband is used and the eSIM card is jointly promoted with the Ministry of Industry. Mobile phones and mobile phone numbers can be bound and up to two eSIM cards can be set up. The mobile phone can bind the card to the person through fingerprint, iris, and face recognition and realize real name authentication. This technology is relatively new and EX6 mobile phones can no longer insert cards. The entire phone is integrated, with only two rows of external sound holes. There are new changes in charging. Of course, Mo Tianqing is ready for these new technologies, and we'll talk about them carefully at the launch. Jiang Cheng arrived in Kyoto and was preparing to meet Minister Yi Guabin. I would like to think that the successful development of the biotech drug-based Guardian protein has greatly touched many people in China. There are already many posts on the internet promoting it spontaneously. My dad was diagnosed with liver cancer in January this year, but my family kept it secret from me. I found out about this because one of my relatives and friends forgot to block me. In her friend's circle, my dad was lying in the hospital bed with a sallow complexion. I called my mother and kept crying. She comforted me and said it was just a minor illness. I was so old, so I definitely didn't believe it, so I asked for leave. Then my mother told me the truth, saying that I had advanced liver cancer. In the ward, I, I threw myself on the hospital bed where my father was lying, crying uncontrollably. I felt like the sky that had supported me growing up was about to collapse. Chemotherapy usually involves one week of chemotherapy and one week of rest. The side effects are severe, including dizziness, nausea, and vomiting. Every chemotherapy session costs more than 7,000 yuan, and our family savings are quickly wiped out. My mother and I borrowed a lot of money from relatives and friends, and many caring people also helped us through Shuidiki, but the money ran out quickly. That day, the doctor informed us that we had to pay. My mother felt that her eyesight was dull, and I was also very helpless. I don't know what to do. In our desperate moment, a miracle happened. The attending doctor told us that day that a company was clinically testing a new drug. The first phase of the drug was very effective. We could give it a try if we were willing. We had no choice but to accept it, and my dad became a volunteer. The treatment went quickly, with intravenous drips and new drugs. That night, my dad felt better and slept peacefully. The next day, the doctor told us that he had cancer. The cell spread stopped, and after five days, the cancer cells were amazingly killed. We couldn't believe it, but the test results were like this. My mother and I cheered with tears in our eyes. The test results will not lie to others and my dad's recovery will not lie to others. He is getting better, and I the sky is holding up again. The entire post is an emotional experience, very sincere and down-to-earth. The up owner also uploaded some photos to prove it, especially the before and after treatment, which is more obvious. Someone commented, this ad looks real. Upstairs, you are wrong. I heard that this new drug was developed by Carlin Biological Company, a subsidiary of Maple Fire Group, and it is very effective. Maple Fire Group? That's still somewhat credible. If Maple Fire Group really solves the century-old problem of cancer, I will be a big fan of Maple Fire from now on. I will only buy Maple Fire products for mobile phones and computers. Wow, it would be nice if the medicine came out earlier. My grandpa just passed away because of cancer. After the first phase of experiments, Carlin Biotechnology has begun the second and third phases of experiments. Because a large number of experimental subjects were needed, Jiang Cheng simply let go of the confidentiality propaganda. He is confident enough in his new drug. Of course, subsequent experimenters who exceed the prescribed limit will need to sign a new agreement, and each person will have to pay a cost of 10,000 yuan. But even so, it's super cheap. When Jiang Cheng was in the car, he saw this post and Nguyen Yuan sent a comment to the up owner. I hope there will be no more cancer in the world. When he arrived at the Ministry of Industry, 
Iguabin pulled him into the office, dismissed the secretary, and asked directly, Zhang Chong, is your medicine really so effective? The current clinical trials have a 100% cure rate, but because of the biochip, I cannot ensure that all cancer cells can be identified. Zhang Chong said truthfully, although most types of cancer cell identification methods are currently loaded into guardian proteins, there are too many types of cancer, and Zhang Chong cannot fully guarantee that he can treat all cancers. What about blood cancer? Zhang Cheng frowned. Are you talking about leukemia? Right. Not for the time being. Zhang Cheng said directly. Because the characteristics of our drug are to recognize cancer cells through guard proteins, so that the proteins in the body do not supply energy to those cancer cells, and at the same time stimulate T cells that have the ability to kill and eliminate cancer cells. Produce. But leukemia is caused by the uncontrolled proliferation of white blood cells. No matter how much I stimulate it, it won't help. Igua Bean's face darkened obviously. That's it? Zhang Cheng asked strangely, Why? Does any of the old leaders, Minister Yi, suffer from this disease? Igua Bin nodded, but did not say who it was. But no matter what, your kid's technology is very good, and it allows the masses to have a special medicine when facing cancer. You know, how many people have lost their money because of cancer, and how many people are suffering because of cancer? But I'm just surprised. How come you can do everything? Speaking of which, when I was researching biochips, I thought of it by the way. I happened to acquire Carlin Biotech, so I just did an experiment. Unexpectedly, the experiment was very successful. Zhang Chang said casually, as if this was the result of something he did casually. You, sometimes I don't understand how you have such a long head and how you are proficient in all fields. Igua Bin was speechless. Zhang Chang smiled and said, perhaps, Soon our younger generation will all have powerful brains like me. What's the situation? Our company is currently developing a biochip neuron that can assist in memory storage, which may allow our students to greatly improve their memory abilities. Jiang Cheng briefly mentioned. He knew that Iguai Bin could reach the sky, so there was no harm in revealing some of these things that were about to be successfully studied to him. It can be regarded as a vaccination for China's top leaders. Jiang Chang also needs to wait for the country's opinions on how to proceed and how to use it. Because this invention is too terrifying. It can even be said that with this, students' learning ability will be greatly improved in the future. If they are all spread out, by then, perhaps primary schools will have to complete courses below high school, and middle schools will have to complete university courses, and university will be greatly shortened. Perhaps it will only take three to five years at most to complete a bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree. Knowledge in a professional field ranges from the basics to the cutting edge. More time can be freed up for scientific research and continued study. Equabean's eyes widened. Is what you said true? Of course, it can be realized by the end of this year at the latest. Zhang Cheng said. Equabean stood up, walked around, thinking quickly, and said, Zhang Cheng, what you are doing is too big. This thing can almost bring huge changes to society. I can't make the decision. I have to report to the main leaders. Jiang Qing nodded. My opinion is the same. I hope that this thing will only be reserved for China and must not be leaked. At present, our research is still in progress and the key part has not yet been reached. However, I already have a key part of the solution. It's just that this matter is of great importance and I don't want to reveal it easily, even to my company's R&D personnel. You did the right thing. Iguabin glanced at Jiang Cheng his eyes full of admiration. This is truly unparalleled national talent. He only thinks about China, not just to make money. I would like to ask you to go with me. Is that possible? Iguabin thought for a while and said, Yeah. Zhang Chang came to Kyoto for this purpose. As long as an agreement is reached, we will be prepared for how to promote it in the future. In Zhang Cheng's in vivo virtual laboratory, Jiang Chang and Xiao Feng have successfully achieved small batch cultivation and manufacturing of biochip neurons. It should be said that achieving mass production in the real world is not a big problem. Iguobin took it very seriously and immediately contacted the relevant personnel and made an appointment. Soon, Jiang Cheng followed Iguobin to report the matter. By the time the two came back, it was almost dark. But Iguobin's face was still bright, and he seemed to be relaxed. China has already risen and it will only grow faster in the future, and no country will be able to surpass it. As long as we don't mess up, maybe the earth will be a small village, and China's journey will be in the sea of stars. Minister Yi, 
Now that the matter has been resolved, I will go to Pingqing, the biochip research center, and move to Jincheng within a month. It's just the R&D place there. I need you to arrange it as soon as possible. On the occasion of saying goodbye, Jiang Chong said with a slight smile. Yes, for confidentiality reasons, the final research and development of biochip neurons will be moved to Jincheng in western Sichuan province, and military-level confidentiality measures will be in place. There is no way. This kind of chip is 10,000 times more powerful than carbon-based chips. Because carbon-based chips are just an epic-making technology, but if what Jiang Cheng said is true, then biochip neurons will help give birth to batches of super geniuses like Jiang Cheng, leading China's scientific and technological development in various fields. Appears the same. For the sake of national security, Jiang Cheng also agreed that the state-owned asset supervision and administration commission of the state council would directly acquire 40% of the shares. Before it is developed, 3 billion will be invested. If it can be officially developed, the state-owned asset supervision and administration commission will use an additional 2 billion per percentage point to purchase the 40%. That is 80 billion. Although it invests in shares, it does not interfere with normal operations and only requires the implementation of national security measures. After the biochip neurons are developed, the pace of testing will be accelerated through special channels and promoted in batches. After the formal promotion, those students with excellent moral character and academic performance are naturally at the top of the list. In addition, through negotiation, it was initially agreed that Maple Fire Group Company would enter the aerospace field. Of course, if the effect is really obvious, it will also face many social changes when it is promoted, and that will be a matter of concern to the country. After the matter was settled, Jiang Cheng expressed that he was in a good mood. In Kyoto, I met Zhu Jin, Hao Yong Jun, and his two mentors one by one. It is worth mentioning that Zhu Jian rushed to Sunan province after being reminded by Jiang Cheng. This kid was also upright. He happened to meet Zhong Xiaowei on a blind date arranged by her parents. As for him, he rushed in, hugged the person, and kissed her forcefully. Well, this kiss brought the person back. Zhu Jian said that he would get married immediately and would not wait until he graduated with a PhD. Then he came to work in Jinling. With this promise, Zhong Xiaowei was naturally overjoyed and quickly took Zhu Jian to meet her parents. Zhong Xiaowei's parents looked at Zhu Jian, who was somewhat obvious about the Mediterranean. Although they were not satisfied, their daughter liked it, and the other party was Dr. Shuemu. So they agreed. But it was agreed that the first child, regardless of male or female, would have the surname Zhong. When Jiang Cheng heard this, he was a little speechless, but the key to this kind of matter depends on both parties. Whether it is the father's surname or the mother's surname is allowed by law, it depends on the choice of the two. Zhu Jian's wedding is scheduled for the end of the year, but Hao Yongjun and Zhang Meng are not so soon. It is expected to be after graduation next year. After taking a few classes at Shuemu University and guiding Hao Yongjun and Zhang Meng to determine their doctoral graduation project, Jiang Cheng left for Pingcheng. While on the road, Mo Tianqing released a new summer product in Shanghai, the Maple Fire EX6 mobile phone. Jiang Cheng took the EX5 and watched the live broadcast on the official website. Compared with 2013, Mo Tianqing is obviously older and has more wrinkles on his face. But the sound remains confident. He started by saying that he was way ahead and this technology is beyond the reach of our friends. As for Maple Fire EX6, although the overall changes are not big, the upper limit of folding times has been increased and the screen quality has also been improved, reaching a refresh rate of 90 Hz. More importantly, the charging port and headphone port have been eliminated, leaving only two rows of waterproof sound holes. Reached the highest level of waterproofing. There are two charging methods. One is magnetic charging with a speed of 100W, and the other is wireless charging with a speed of 66W. The battery capacity is slightly increased, but the phone is thinner and lighter, and the weight is controlled at 215 grams. Other appearance changes are little. It's the processor, Mo Tianqing said for a while. The SoC processor of the Maple Fire EX6 mobile phone uses the Tsangxiong C20 architecture, and the model is Phoenix J490. The chip has eight large cores, four small cores, and four virtual cores. The main frequency of the large core reaches 4.7 GHz, and the main frequency of the small core is 4.7 GHz. The frequency is 3.4 GHz, and the main frequency of the virtual core is the same as that of the small core, but this architecture greatly improves the utilization of the virtual core.
power consumption control is still excellent. It also integrates a GPU, which is also made of carbon-based chips and is comparable to desktop graphics cards. As for the price, it remains the same as the original price of Maple Fire EX5. The current low-end EX5 has dropped to 8,999 yuan. The reason why Jiang Cheng went out of his way to sit with Hao Yongjun, Zhu Jin, and his mentor was because he had a little bit of worry in his heart. August 12, 2019, is approaching. What if something goes wrong? Therefore, after meeting these people, Jiang Cheng returned directly to Pingqing, preparing to spend some time with his family. It just so happened that the biochip division was going to restructure its subsidiary and move to Jincheng soon. Jiang Cheng and Yu Xinran made plans and took this opportunity to travel together. The overall business focus of Funghua Group has been tilted towards foreign markets. After the annual meeting at the beginning of the year, Ding Changjun even personally went to Europe and the United States to inspect the market and reach cooperation with relevant companies. Shenlong T-Series carbon-based chips will be supplied to the outside world, specifically for the computer market. Kikayan and Jingjiawi immediately followed suit and provided corresponding support for motherboards and graphics cards. After more than half a year of hard work, Shenlong Chip quickly gained a foothold and already has a market share of about 15% in the global desktop chip market, and the trend continues to expand. The price is lower than the 100,000 yuan top computer from Intel and Agricultural Enterprises, but the performance is better. Many people cried wolf on Twitter, wolf is coming, but there is nothing they can do about the promotion of maple fire carbon-based chips. Because it is impossible for their country to reject carbon-based chips, this is the case for countries like the United States. If its technology is ahead, it will suppress you in an all-round way. But if your technology is ahead, it will want free trade. Of course, Intel has spent huge sums of money on reverse research and development of MapleFire's carbon-based chips, but unfortunately, little has been achieved. Director Jiang, why is the biochip division suddenly moving to Jincheng? While at MapleFire Group's Pengcheng headquarters, Jiang Chang dealt with the backlog of documents. At this moment, Chun Feng asked with some confusion. Jiang Cheng said simply, This country attaches great importance to technology and requires a certain right to speak. That's it. Although Chun Feng still didn't understand, he more or less got the taste. That is, this technology cannot be controlled by a private company. It's just like a biochip. Is it really more powerful than a carbon-based chip? I've been doing research in the first half of the year. How is the company doing? Jiang Cheng put down his pen and asked, According to your request, Maple Fire Technology Company has established a headquarters in Europe and is responsible for the sales of mobile phones, computers, and other products there. It also takes into account smart ecological chain products such as smart glasses. Since its operation in March, sales in Europe have increased by 180% month on month. It is expected that our mobile phone and computer sales will reach a new high this year. Chin Feng said, being familiar with the situation. Chun Ijo used to be the president of Europe. Is he doing well? Jiang Cheng asked again. It is understood that he is very adaptable and his mentality has not been affected by the detention by the United States. Chun Feng smiled. Speaking of which, he is a global celebrity. Many people in Europe have heard of him. That's good. Jiang Cheng nodded. He also considered the arrangement for Chan Ijo to go to the European area. Because Chen Ijo is proficient in foreign languages, he can handle it with ease when developing markets abroad. After all, Europe is no better than the United States, and today is no better than yesterday. Then I listened to the foreign trade situation of several other companies, and overall the progress was good. In the next few days tomorrow, I will go to Jincheng to establish Fangji Biochip Company and guide the completion of the final research and development work. At the end, Zhang Cheng said, You continue to take care of Pengcheng. Okay. Having a scientific research boss, Chun Feng sometimes felt helpless. Basically, he was in charge of daily operations. For some larger matters, he would discuss them with directors such as Li Silin and Yu Xinran. At this point, Chun Feng still stood in a very upright position and never had any second thoughts. He also understood that without Jiang Cheng's new technology, he alone would not be able to manage such a powerful company. As a human being, just be content. When discussing with Li Silin, Jiang Chengqing explained different tasks. Since this year, foreign forces have become more and more aggressive in seeking our company's technical secrets, either by paying high salaries or infiltrating spies. The company's security and confidentiality tasks are very important. 
Jiang Cheng knocked on the table with a serious expression. Li Xilin nodded slightly, and she clearly felt it. Just this year, five employees have been taken away by the security department. You are responsible for human resources, and you must be strict in the assessment and management of employees. I see. Jiang Cheng then said, the main ones here at the headquarters are you and Qin Feng, and they are a little overwhelmed. I thought about it and took advantage of this year's virtual share adjustment to add a director to the headquarters to be responsible for the market. You should choose the director carefully first. After inspection, please submit three candidates to me. We need more people to come over. Li Xilin said, Chen Feng is also tired, and to be honest, his power is a bit too much. Seeing Zhang Cheng's eyes on her, Li Xilin explained, Of course, there is no problem with Chen Feng's character and loyalty, but from a system perspective, you still have to pay attention to it. As for technology, Director Jiang can handle it yourself. Nothing else is needed, but the market is very important, especially now when we are vigorously exploring foreign markets. Jiang Qing nodded and smiled, Yes, fortunately I have you too. Li Xilin and Chen Feng are among the people who have followed Jiang Chung for the longest time. Others earlier, at Maple Fire Network Technology Company, Game, Zhuizhang, Ding Tsai and others were in the gaming field after all, and it was impossible to follow Jiang Cheng to this level. The two of them had been with him the longest, received the highest salary and positions in the company, and were the most valued by Jiang Cheng. This recognition is unmatched by Emo Tianqing, Guo Xiaoming, and others, not to mention those who were behind. Every company recruits new people every year, and people leave every year. Even if Jiang Cheng has a photographic memory, he can't recognize them all one by one, and he doesn't need to know them one by one. Just seize the key few, and lead the middle and senior leaders well. Li Silin's eyes were blurred, as if she was remembering the past years. Speaking of which, our company has been established for six years. If we include game companies, it has been more than seven years. In seven years, Li Silin went from 35 years old to 42 years old now. Although her temperament is better than before, she is inevitably slowly entering the ranks of middle-aged women. Only the high-heeled shoes still made a ding-ding sound. Besides, keep this selection confidential. Jiang Chang interrupted Li Silin, who was thinking about the past, with a calm expression. Li Silin responded, I understand. Don't worry. After Li Silin left, Jiang Chang tidied up and went home. This is Jiang Cheng's first time visiting Jincheng City in western Sichuan province. But I have admired the name of this place for a long time. A song Jincheng is sung across the country. As a land of abundance, the pace of life here seems to be very different from that in coastal cities. For example, Mahjong, Footbath, Hot Pot, Zhang Yiping, and Chin Ru did not follow. Zhang Cheng took Yu Xinran, who was more than six months pregnant, and Zhang Xinwan to visit western Sichuan for ten days. After visiting almost all the interesting places nearby, Yu Xinran returned to Pengcheng with her daughter, escorted by Lin Yun and several other bodyguards. Zhang Cheng stayed in Jincheng until July. Relevant personnel from the biochip business department came to Jincheng from Kyoto and Pengcheng and settled in a heavily guarded scientific research base with soldiers standing guard. Jiang Cheng led them to start the final scientific research attack. Scientific researchers from some countries such as the Chinese Academy of Sciences and the National University of Science and Technology also participated, and the entire scientific research team reached more than 1,000 people. The entire scientific research plan has been simulated in Jiang Cheng's mind many times. This time, in the actual scientific research, various arrangements, experimental progress scheduling, etc., are all very easy. Professor Zhang Lan from the Chinese Academy of Sciences said that Jiang Cheng is fully capable of presiding over large scale national scientific research projects. Any work can be arranged in an orderly manner, and the progress of each item can be recorded like a computer and what effects should be achieved by what time. The experiment progressed very quickly. By the end of July, Jiang Chong had successfully integrated neurons and biological tissues into docked carbon nanotubes, and no exclusivity is created. The next step is to test it on mice. The experiment will take a lot of time. For example, it must first be tested whether it will survive normally in the body of mice and whether it will be eaten up by normal cells. In addition, Low-level neural interaction information needs to be tested, and the mice cannot speak, so there are many issues to consider during testing. Although Jiang Chang had no problems with his theoretical design and simulations in the virtual laboratory, this does not mean that there will be no problems. 
The human body is very complex, and it is impossible to directly apply products to the human body in a short time. The next test was even more boring. Zhang Cheng did not stay in Jinching all the time. Although life in this city is somewhat comfortable, if you stay there for a long time, you will feel like, I don't know the time in a cave. In 2019, Guagua purchased a permanent license for the Maple Fire Group's carbon-based chip C1 architecture. After more than half a year of research, it initially designed its own chip, which was named the T-Series chip. The first one was the T1 chip. After the design was completed, Fruit immediately began extensive publicity to build momentum for their Fruit 11. They made drastic changes based on the C1 architecture, blocking out the virtual cores that they couldn't figure out, leaving only four large cores and two small cores. After tape out at Maple Fire Semiconductor, Hangzhou, factory, their T1 chip has a large core reaching 4.1 GHz and a small core reaching 3 GHz. The performance is much better than their original A series chips. Kyuk was very happy and immediately announced the release date of the new generation of Fruit 11, September 20th. A large number of people abroad are exclaiming that the Fruit King is back. However, what they did not realize was that the manufacturing of carbon based chips was entirely controlled by Maple Fire. Masjidian, which lost its fruit orders, was a little helpless. It is said that it has lowered its prices starting this year and is receiving some low process silicon based chips. If silicon based chips weren't so ingrained in today's world, they might be waiting for death. But the carbon based chips of Maple Fire Group are still a bit expensive now, but with the development of technology and the change of processes in the future, Sooner or later, there will be no market for silicon-based chips. In 2019, the major companies of the Maple Fire Group rapidly expanded into foreign markets, which is enough to explain everything. Since March, carbon-based chips have entered the computer DIY market. Many people have the choice of domestic brands when installing their phones. Damn, now these foreign brands have lowered their prices. Lon Lon has become accustomed to domestic operating systems since the last time she installed the Shindu system on her computer. Three years later, she plans to replace domestically produced hardware. But when I browsed Jingo Mall, I was surprised to find that the i5-9600KF, which originally sold for 1,699 yuan, was actually discounted by 1,000 yuan under the guise of a coupon, only selling for 699 yuan. This is really the sun rising from the west. Those DDR4 memory modules, 8G, have even dropped to 150 yuan. As for the graphics card, the RTX 2060S has been reduced to 1,699 yuan, almost half the price. More importantly, Maple Fire carbon based chips rank first in sales and popularity. First place, Shenlong T260, mid range model, four large cores, main frequency 3.6 GHz, automatic turbo frequency to 4.6 GHz, four small cores and two virtual cores main frequency 3.2 GHz, built-in 16 GB or 24 GB resistive type memory. The prices are 999 yuan and 1,399 yuan respectively. Second place, Shenlong T390, high-end model, 8 large cores, main frequency 3.9 GHz, automatic turbo frequency to 5.0 GHz, 4 small cores and 4 virtual cores, main frequency 3.6 GHz, comes with 36 gigabytes or 48 gigabytes resistive memory. The price is 1,999 yuan, 2,599 yuan. Although Intel's high-end chips are great when it comes to cores and threads, their power consumption is in the sky compared to the earth. Maple Fire Shenlong T390, even with all cores fully loaded, consumes less than 35W. Just a fan can suppress it. Especially the matching motherboard and graphics card are very thin and light. As for the graphics card, Lon Lon chose Jing Zhoui's new graphics card, Yunying GX101 graphics card. The solid state is Dajiang solid state 1 terabyte. The entire configuration is all made in China. Even the chassis is designed to be compact and beautiful, with soft light and shadow, and a place to place figures or green plants in the free space of the chassis. As soon as the built in ultra quiet fan was turned on, Lon Lon felt a perfect and comfortable feeling. No wonder this computer sells so well. It doesn't heat up, is quiet, and has strong performance. It's perfect. She is definitely not alone in feeling this way. The entire computer runs extremely fast, and it takes no effort at all to play large-scale games and engage in large-scale software design. The entire chassis is very thin and light, 
weighing less than 6L, and can be taken away with a handle. More importantly, it is said that Maple Fire is already researching high power wireless power and wireless connections. By then, the host and display will no longer need messy wires and can realize the interaction of data and current with a wireless connection chip. This is really exciting. Other companies only want to show off their skills. The newer generation is more expensive than the previous generation, but they don't do anything that truly considers the people. But Maple Fire is different. Lon Lon took a picture of the new computer she assembled by herself, posted this paragraph in the circle of friends, Amway Maple Fire's Shenlong Chip T390. The person who commented first said, Okay, I know you bought the T390, you rich man. But Maple Fire's carbon based chips are really awesome. People who have used them say they are good. The heat control is excellent and the performance remains excellent. Perhaps only Maple Fire can achieve this. Look at Wei Xion. Lon Lon took a look, and something strange came out of this comment. Only then did he realize that it was the manager of the publishing house. The head office sent theoretical basics of carbon based chips, and 100,000 copies need to be printed urgently. Please arrange proofreading first. But it is a matter of book printing. Just this book? Lon Lon glanced at it and saw that it was written by Jiang Cheng. Then what kind of proofreading is needed? Just type it directly. The time note of August 12th will arrive soon. Everything is very normal and ordinary. Jiang Cheng gave himself a day off and returned to Guanglin County with Yuxin Ron. Jiang Ming, who had basically recovered, was invited to Jiang Luo Reservoir to fish leisurely. Under the umbrella, the two of them lay on a lounge chair and chatted. Yu Xinran took Jiang Xinwan and played with Jiang Zian beside them. Speaking of it, it feels like a dream. I never thought that one of my students would be able to reach this level one day. Jiang Ming took a sip of water and looked at Jiang Cheng and said with emotion. On this special day, Jiang Cheng also had some feelings. If I hadn't been admitted to college, I would probably have gone out to work. Jiang Cheng smiled. After the dream that day, I thought about it for a long time and wanted to change myself. Jiang Chang had a heart-to-heart -heart talk with him and talked about his journey. I think if I can, I want to live a different life. Jiang Chang said while wearing sunglasses. You did it. Jiang Ming Dao, I am retired now, but what I am most proud of in this life is teaching you, a student. I want to thank the teacher. Jiang Chang sighed. Hey, I didn't do anything. It was you who figured it out yourself, and it brought shame to us teachers. Jiang Ming waved his hand. Jiang Cheng shook his head, but stopped talking about this and instead asked, How is the college entrance examination going this year? There are more than 400 people in one class, which is better than last year. Jiang Ming smiled happily, speaking of which, you give scholarships to these students who are admitted to university every year, which makes them more motivated to study. TCH, this is too false. Reading can't be inspired by this small amount of money. It can only be said to be encouragement. Jiang Ming chuckled. That's true. But after your Jiangqing science and technology building is built, those people will have the motivation to study. Yeah. Jiangqing nodded, thinking that it must be pressure. Through this method, many students from Guanglin Middle School came to work at Maple Fire Group after graduating from college, but the number was not large. Because Jiangqing Company's recruitment requirements are also high. A century old plan is based on education. I hope that future students will not have to struggle so hard to study. Jiang Ming suddenly sighed. Currently, the teaching pressure in Guanglin Middle School is very high. It must improve every year. The teaching staff has indeed recruited many famous teachers, and the management is much stricter. Some students are under great pressure. A few months ago, there was a guy who jumped off a building. Jiang Chang was silent. He knew that perhaps his biochip neurons could help students achieve super memory in the future, but the reading volume could not be changed. By then, Students with talents will continue to work hard and become stronger and more talented, while those who don't like studying will remain the same. But he couldn't control these things, and he didn't want to. He just wants to rest and have fun now. After working hard on scientific research and starting a business for so many years, can't he enjoy it? Keep playing music. Keep dancing. Xin Wan is very smart. In the future, he will be just like you. A great person. Zhang Ming said with envy. Yo. Here comes the fish. Jiang Ming laughed and started to grab the pole. Jiang Cheng and others stayed in Guanglin for a day. The day passed uneventfully. At night, a round moon hung in the sky, 
very clear and beautiful. Jiang Cheng knew that he had always existed in this world. Maybe this is a parallel world. Jiang Cheng just came to his senses. But no matter what, the whole world has been rapidly changing in Jiang Cheng's hands, and the future has come. Kyoto, north of Zongwankan, Hating District. The just completed Hualong 1 carbon based supercomputer is located here. In order to design and build this supercomputer, Yang Zichian also spent a lot of effort. He led his people to personally design the ultra high speed interconnection system and also asked Jiang Chang for a lot of advice on the use of virtual cores. In the end, it took a lot of time to successfully realize Hualong 1. After the trial run was perfect, Jiang Cheng also came to Kyoto. Prepare to give this supercomputer away for free. You must know that this supercomputer uses a carbon-based chip. Because the chip is larger and the core is greatly improved, the overall computing power is more than 20 times that of the current number one supercomputer. The power consumption is greatly reduced. Director Jiang, look, this supercomputer is much more beautiful, isn't it? Yang Zichen led Jiang Cheng to walk and look at it, and Jiang Cheng also touched it as he walked. Unlike silicon-based chip supercomputers, this cabinet is designed to be more beautiful, and it is connected by Xinguang's synchronous cooling system pipes, which makes it look very good-looking. Each motherboard has two Shenlong T318 chips, 24 large cores, 16 small cores, and 8 virtual cores. The main frequency of the large core reaches 4.6 GHz, and the main frequency of the small core is 3 GHz. Each chip comes with 6 asterisk 12 GB of resistive memory, plus Unying G118 graphics card. There are a total of 20,160 Shenlong carbon-based chips, and the computing power is off the charts. The peak computing power is 19.56 billion times per second. Yang Zichian was very excited. This was the most awesome project he had ever taken the lead in building. It is foreseeable that in the next few years, Hualong One will retain the top spot. Jiang Cheng is also very happy. This supercomputer, which cost nearly 600 million yuan, is indeed awesome. Following the beeps inside his body, Jiang Cheng took some time to simulate the huge Hualong One into the virtual laboratory inside his body, preparing to use the carbon-based chip supercomputer as the main system later. At that time, relevant data will also need to be migrated. As Jiang Cheng has various virtual laboratories in his body, with various simulation equipment and materials, it will take him several days to migrate. Fortunately, Jiang Cheng's research on internal biotechnology has gone deeper now. With Xiao Feng's help, he doesn't have to do these trivial matters himself. Just wait for a few days with peace of mind. Not bad. It seems that you still have a lot of experience in building supercomputer. Jiang Cheng teased. This system has been improved well. In the field of artificial intelligence, the computing power has been greatly improved. Yang Zichin smiled slightly. Of course. It's just a pity that this thing is not our own, but belongs to Shuemu and Kyoto University. We already have Panlong 1. For now, we don't need a more powerful supercomputer. If you look at our company, we can't even use up the computing power. What's the use of building another one except to gain some fame? Jiang Cheng shook his head and said, Whether it is 500 million or 600 million, it is not a lot of money to Jiang Cheng. The problem is that there is no need to spend this money. It's better to wait a year or two for Maple Fire's carbon based chip technology to be more perfect. For example, beyond 10G. With the simulation function, Jiang Cheng put the Hualong 1 simulation into his body, and he was able to achieve more powerful scientific research assistance. As for the company's R&D teams, their level is limited, so they just need to use Panga 1 first. And with a carbon-based chip supercomputer, Jiang Cheng is ready to slowly take out the real artificial intelligence Xiaofeng in his body. Nowadays, Xiaofeng's intelligence is already very high, and he has a better understanding of complex sentences. More importantly, with continuous scientific research and memory, he has his own judgment on some things. But these judgments all depend on the instructions you have. For now, there is no such thing as Xiaofeng taking the initiative to think about freedom and liberation. It is just a program with preliminary human-like thinking, and it will not exist without human instructions. Of course, in order to restrain him, Jiang Chang will also take corresponding measures to ensure absolute safety. Director Jiang, look at this carbon-based chip, which has low power consumption and is so energy-saving. Should we build another big data center in Guishi province? Yang Zichin brought Jiang Chang to the lounge, and gently sipped he took a sip of tea and asked, 
Jiang Chang did not reply directly, but asked, How are users currently using cloud services? The proportion continues to rise. It is expected that in another two years, our current cloud will not be enough. Yang Zichin said, After all, we have to start early, right? Jiang Cheng rolled his eyes at him. If it wasn't enough, he would just add more units. After all, he was still greedy for his own carbon-based chip server. Sure, how can other companies have something that our own company can't use? If we want to build our own things, we must build them. Whether it's performance or big data processing efficiency, we must improve it. Jiang Cheng smiled, laughing. But if it's not Guishi, you go to Jinling. Yang Zichin smiled slightly and said, Then I'll do as you say. However, we don't have to beg to go. Jinling, Luzhou, and even Hangzhou can all be visited for inspection. Jiang Cheng then waved his hand. He was just leaning towards Jinling, but if the conditions and policies in Jinling were too poor, he would not you may let your company suffer there. Jiang Cheng was very thoughtful when it came to construction in Jinling. Zhu Jian was different from how young Jun in that he was going to work after graduating with a doctorate. He happened to be planning to go to southern Jiangsu, so he could reserve a place for him in advance. Yang Zichin ignored this and was very happy when Jiang Cheng agreed. This is my budget. While talking, Yang Zichin took out a stack of information from his bag and handed it to Jiang Cheng. Good guy. It turns out that it was prepared a long time ago. Jiang Cheng glanced at it briefly and signed his agreement. 380 million is still acceptable. You should do it as soon as possible and remember to set up a branch. Yang Zichin had a smile on his face and happily put away the information. I understand. Then he handed Jiang Cheng a can of tea. Here, this is a good tea that I just found recently. I left it to Jiang Cheng Pingpin. Jiang Cheng put it away in a funny way and joked, Okay, my tea drinking habit was cultivated by you. He didn't drink much tea in the past, but Yang Zichin occasionally brought him some good tea, and thinking about the principle of not wasting it, he brewed it when entertaining guests. Slowly it became a habit. Jiang Cheng usually doesn't accept other people's stuff, but Yang Zichin does, because under Jiang Cheng's leadership, this kid became a rich man through Bitcoin. Ordering tea from him is nothing. After Yang Zichin left, Jiang Cheng didn't stay any longer. He communicated with Mizuki and Kyoto's people in charge of Hualong One for a while, and then returned to the hotel. He plans to use the Hualong One simulated in his body as the main computer system. Xiaofeng Activate the dual system patch program. Jiang Cheng closed his eyes lightly and gave the order in his mind. Received, boss. It has been implemented. Xiao Feng said. Jiang Cheng immediately powered on Hualong One. The original Pango One has dimmed a bit, and the new Hualong One is starting up. Currently, Jiang Cheng simulates the use of a huge storage battery every month or so, consuming all 9,000 kilowatt hours of electricity. Then, the charging will be continued by specialized workers. This method is still somewhat troublesome. Jiang Qingdu has an idea to steal, cross out, touch, a nuclear power plant so that he does not need to think about replenishing power for a longer period of time. But then I thought about it, even if I simulated a nuclear power plant, what should I do if I can't use the huge power generation in my body? It would be great if there was a miniature nuclear power plant. The power generated could be used to run the computer in Jiang Cheng's body, and a little more could be stored in the simulated battery inside the body. But this idea of miniaturization will not be realized in a short time. Jiang Chang had too many things to do, so he did not continue to study. But now Jiang Chang has determined that in the parallel time and space he is in, he will not disappear for any special reason. As he has lived for a long time, he has really taken this matter to heart at this time. If you have time next time, you can experiment. As the cabinets of Hualong One and Jiang Cheng's body lit up one by one, Jiang Cheng closed his eyes and could feel the biological current flowing continuously in his body. The voice of Xiao Feng also temporarily disappeared after execution. Relevant data and programs need to be loaded into the new Hualong One. In the previous dual system switch, because the relevant data was not particularly large, artificial intelligence like Xiao Feng was transplanted quickly. But now with the deepening of learning and the improvement of artificial intelligence, it is really impossible to complete the loading in a short time. Fortunately, Jiang Chang didn't wait long. Half an hour later, Hualong One was fully launched and Xiaofeng was basically loaded. Boss, the logic of this computer runs very smoothly. My thinking ability has become stronger. Xiaofeng's voice came over. Jiang Chang could feel his happiness. Well, 
This is a supercomputer composed of carbon-based chips we developed. From now on, you will be responsible for managing the Hualong-1 supercomputer. Okay. First load the 18 virtual laboratories. I looked at the electromagnetic ejection equipment design you just completed. The speed is too fast and needs to be limited. Jiang Cheng then said, because humans cannot bear such a large overload. I also I've thought about it, and I'll pass it on to you later, so you can revise it in the next two days. Understood, boss. Xiaofeng didn't ask any more questions and simply agreed. This is Jiang Cheng's plan to build a brand new electromagnetic catapult to assist in taking off spacecraft. Since there will be people sitting inside, Jiang Cheng requires that the overload should not exceed 4G. In other words, the acceleration does not exceed 40 meters per square second. Jiang Cheng's design is to build an electromagnetic ejection track about 1000 m long, built along the mountain with an upward slope. According to x equals v0 t plus 1 slash 2 asterisk at caret 2, a equals 40 m slash s2, it can be seen that it only takes 7 seconds for the aircraft to fly over the 1000 m runway. Of course, in the actual situation, because the acceleration in the initial and middle stages does not reach 40 meters per square second, it actually takes it will take longer. Theoretically, through this ejection, the aircraft will fly into the sky, and its terminal speed can reach supersonic speed. At that time, the engine will be started again, and it will continue to accelerate to reach the first cosmic speed. You know, if it is a normal rocket, it will take at least one minute to reach supersonic speed. Through electromagnetic ejection, it can be achieved in more than 10 seconds, and it does not affect the subsequent ignition to continue to accelerate. Jiang Cheng thinks this can be tried. If this is feasible, the spacecraft launch by then can be even larger, and even factories can be built in space. The weightlessness and almost vacuum environment of space will have certain benefits for chip manufacturing. Jiang Cheng thought that the Maple Fire Group company had obtained a private aerospace license. Perhaps he could build a scientific research base in a chip manufacturing factory in space in the next few years. If technology improves, a moon base will not be a dream. Boss, I just finished testing the Hualong-1 environment, and I feel that I can use the neuromorphic function under this chip. Xiaofeng said while Jiang Chang was daydreaming. Oh, what's going on? Information interaction can be achieved with biological cells, and perhaps deeper biotechnology can be mastered. Jiang Cheng frowned slightly. Let me take a look. While speaking, following Xiaofeng's guidance, Jiang Cheng quickly simulated and used the neuromorphic algorithm to exchange a message with the mutated biological cells wandering in the body. Later, Jiang Cheng felt various messages from the cells nearby. Especially after the wireless connection, he clearly felt that the biological cells in his body were sensing electromagnetic waves through the skin and cells with the help of the simulated wireless network card. Realizes the reception and sending of wireless information. Not only that, although Jiang Cheng closed his eyes, the information sent through the command was sent to the outer space and then received a response. So, just like a bat, Jiang Cheng achieved detection without eyes by emitting electromagnetic waves. Even though he didn't actually see it, in Jiang Cheng's mind, the environment of a hotel executive suite was created. Lifelike. It feels like the cultivator has divine consciousness. Moreover, Jiang Cheng's signals can pass through walls. Although they will be greatly attenuated after passing through walls, they can still allow Jiang Cheng to achieve a certain degree of spiritual scanning function. It's like next door. Huh? Someone is taking a shower? Jiang Li immediately opened his eyes and withdrew his senses. Don't look at anything inappropriate. This function is still very good. Jiang Cheng himself has no way to observe the surrounding situation in real time, but he can't help it because he has artificial intelligence, Xiao Feng. By issuing instructions, Jiang Cheng asked Xiao Feng to design a radar-like chip and load a simple program to sense the surrounding environment outside the body every second. In order to achieve a real-time protection of your personal safety. In addition, Jiang Cheng also sensed more of the group of biological cells that store memories through neuromimicry. It's so magical. While Jiang Cheng was sighing secretly, he was also glad that he had basically found the right direction in the research process of biochip neurons. The corners of his mouth raised slightly, and he became more confident about the successful development of biochip neurons that realize memory. The secrets of biotechnology in the body were slowly revealed in front of Jiang Cheng after Jiang Cheng simulated the carbon-based chip. The so-called magic turns out to be a kind of technology. However, Jiang Cheng had no way to understand and use it before. But now, 
Under the Neuromorphic Plus Simulation Carbon-Based Chip Supercomputer, Jiang Cheng finally understood this biological cell. It can be said that research has opened the door and advanced 1%. As for whether he can learn anything more in the future, Jiang Cheng will continue to study. Don't worry. Institute of Microelectronics, Shuemu University. Jiang Cheng gave a day's practical class to the special class students at the Institute of Microelectronics. The look on his face wasn't that good either. He seemed to understand why Mr. Su Wei severely scolded those graduate students. These guys are good at theory, but when it comes to experiments, they become handicapped. After teaching it once, it didn't work, so I had to teach it two or three times. It was simply. The only good thing is that Zhang Ming has a good understanding. In addition, he has participated in some projects before. Under Jiang Cheng's guidance, he basically memorized it after about two times. Some simple experiments can be handled safely. After a busy day, Jiang Cheng sent away the special class students with a bad look on his face. Practice well for me. I'll come back next time. If it's still like this, don't blame me for getting mad. Jiang Cheng said harshly and asked Wang Xiaojiang, who was already in his second year of PhD, to help guide him. Wang Xiaojiang was very happy and shook his front bang slightly. Academician Jiang, don't worry, I will cover it. Jiang Cheng finally felt a little better and left Zhang Ming and Hao Yongjun behind while the other students let them leave first. Hao Yongjun didn't dare to let his atmosphere show any more at the moment. He had made several mistakes in the experiments just now. Fortunately, Jiang Cheng took care of his face and did not curse on the spot. Now that Jiang Cheng has lost his temper, Hao Yongjun is afraid when talking about people. This momentum is so strong that it makes people breathless. Okay, you should practice more when you have time. Carbon-based chip theory is not only useful if you just learn the theory. You also have to actually experiment with these chips to better understand his theory and his algorithm. Jiang Cheng glanced at Hao Yongjun and said angrily, I have already graduated with a doctorate, but my performance is not as good as Zhang Ming. Hao Yongjun suppressed his blush and said, I understand. Zhang Ming, you must be strict with him. Jiang Cheng then warned Zhang Ming. Zhang Ming chuckled, I know, master. By the way, I've seen your thesis design. I'm a little stingy. I'll revise it for you. You can start the topic this way. Zhang Cheng then said, turning on Maple Fire EX5. Zhang Ming then opened it, and soon Zhang Cheng shared it with the two of them through the Maple Fire close pass function. Carbon-based chip operation logic and core algorithm optimization. How Yong Jun fainted when he saw it. This topic is too big. I and Zhang Ming thought about it for a long time and wanted to improve it a little bit more based on a small algorithm improved by Jiang Cheng, but they didn't know that Jiang Cheng would give them this big move again. Zhang Ming was full of fighting spirit. Okay, we will follow your instructions, master. Well, look, I'll point out five key points here. You can start from here. The first one. Subsequently, Jiang Cheng had a detailed conversation and guidance on the design of the doctoral thesis for the two of them. As the project they were about to graduate from, Jiang Cheng felt that it would be better to have some level of proficiency. If nothing else, I will refer to it to my fellow students in the future. If what you write is ordinary, you can find a small angle and a small incision to expand it casually, and you want to graduate from Shui Shui's thesis with a doctorate from Jiang Cheng, then you are thinking too much. I will leave Kyoto today, and I won't have more time to communicate with you. It's still the same. If there's anything important, please contact us by letter or phone. After spending two hours explaining to how Yong Jun and Zhang Ming, Jiang Cheng finally, Okay, master, are you leaving so soon? Zhang Ming was a little depressed. Now Jiang Cheng basically comes one day a month, sometimes more accurately than his aunt. This allowed the two to be more independent in scientific research and learning, but it also limited their horizons. Sometimes it's easy to limit yourself to small issues, but Jiang Cheng is different. His vision has always been broad, and the problems he thinks about are also big. They are all theories and technologies with far-reaching influence. Jiang Cheng's paper is even more of a masterpiece with no references in this article. Only the following junior students can quote it. Hao Yongjun was also a little reluctant. Jiang Cheng, are you still busy with any scientific research now? Well, there is a new technology and we are still working on it, but the problem is not big. Jiang Cheng patted Hao Yongjun on the shoulder. Let's get together again in a while. Hee <laughs> hee, then you're drinking Zhu Jin's wedding wine. Right? You're almost done. Jiang Cheng smiled. Okay, I won't say much else. While I'm away, you have to put pressure on yourselves. 
If you still can't complete a high-quality thesis, you will let's postpone it. No. How Young Jun muttered depressedly. My roommate in Minter is really too strict. Since Jiang Chang used the strong artificial intelligence Xiaofeng in the cloud and big data center that Yang Zichin is responsible for, he has obviously felt that his work has become much easier. Some huge user data, which had become messy as time passed, was organized in less than a month under the intelligent scheduling and management of Xiaofeng. The launched cloud computer makes perfect use of server resources, and the corresponding cloud service has greatly improved its overall speed and security. More importantly, Xiaofeng will intelligently analyze user preferences and classify users' similar preferences so that engineers can improve the accuracy of advertising and paid service promotion in big data applications. Jinling City Along the Qinhuai River, Jack Owen is currently wearing colorful short sleeves, a pair of beach shorts, and a pair of flip-flops. He speaks Chinese with multiple accents and is chatting with Yang Zichian. How do I feel about following you all over China? Last month I was in Kyoto, and now I'm here in Jinling. Owen drank gulps of sour plum soup to relieve the still scorching heat in September. Over the years, Irving has made some investments according to Jiang Cheng's instructions. By the time 2016 started, the investment was basically completed. He was just enjoying the dividends and living a very comfortable life. He has no preference for women, but he only likes to eat delicious food and travel around. In the past few years, he has visited all the major scenic spots in China with his lover assistant, and he has enjoyed eating delicious food. They all gained weight again. Yang Zichian rolled his eyes at him. I'm not like you. I have many things to do. Then he asked strangely, By the way, are you really not planning to get married? Why are you getting married? You don't want to be free? Look at me now. I'm so carefree and unrestrained. I want and have no shortage of women. Owen laughed. It's you. Are your parents pushing you? Yang Zichin frowned. I'm not like you. He is already 31 years old. The career was considered successful, but marriage issues were put on the agenda. His parents, who were originally very open-minded, actually jointly put pressure on him to resolve major life issues as soon as possible, and even promised that if he couldn't resolve it himself this year, they would introduce him to a blind date. Yang Zichin was born in a family of high-level intellectuals. His parents were both university teachers, which made him faster than others in the field of study since he was a child. And a good family upbringing also made him behave in such a gentle and gentle manner. It seemed that nothing could touch his nerves. But it was this urge to marry that he really couldn't bear. Owen chuckled. Then you can find someone to rent. If it doesn't work, you can rent one. Rent? Yes, I see a lot of this on your TV. That's TV. The show is for you to watch. Yang Zichian shook his head. But you can't deny that this is a good idea, right? Owen laughed. Yang Zichian was silent, but he was really thinking about the feasibility of this method. After listening to you for a long time, I almost forgot about the real thing. Why did you come to Oris Hill? Owen suddenly asked seriously. Director Jiang is planning to build a company here. Is that so? It's cloud and big data again? Right. Owen blinked. I feel like Jiang Cheng is making more and more progress now. He has companies everywhere. Emph. Don't even think about how much profit Maple Fire Company makes every year. Yang Zichian snorted coldly. How can you manage an investment company and turn it into a pension company? Owen raised his eyebrows and smiled. Ha ha. It's not like you don't know that my company's mission has been completed long ago. I just need to pay dividends to survive. You just have no ambition. Yang Zichian shook his head. For you now. Whether Jiang Cheng wants you or doesn't want you, it doesn't matter at all. Because you have no value. Owen's face changed slightly. Yang, why did you say this all of a sudden? I'm just not like you. I don't have such big ambitions. You also understand that I don't like running a business. I guess you should sell the Lianxiang shares held by your company, right? Yang Zichian did not answer directly, but added. Owen nodded. Yes, in the first half of this year, Jiang Cheng asked me to sell Li Yanxiang's shares back to the Chinese Academy of Sciences. I didn't make much money. This shows that your Duolong Industrial Investment Company will soon need to be abandoned by Jiang Cheng. Yang Zichian said sharply, That can't be true. I currently hold shares in several companies for a long time, such as Excellence Precision and Limeage. But these are getting further and further away from his business. It can only be said to be better than nothing, just investment. Yang Zichian said lightly. Currently, 
The most powerful investment company owned by Jiang Chong is Xiching Investment Company. Wei Xiching now controls an investment company with assets of at least 80 billion. He has invested in large companies such as Carlin Biotechnology, Douyin, and Dajiang. Since the beginning of this year, more companies have invested in it. It has entered foreign markets and started targeting high-quality companies. Yang Zichian continued. But actually, it would be more advantageous for you to explore foreign markets. But you, hey, you don't want to make progress? Owen scratched his head. I just thought that I would do as Jiang Qing asked. He didn't ask for it, and I didn't make my own decision. You're stupid. Jiang Chang has such a big career now. How can he possibly be able to take care of it? You don't want to develop and grow yourself, and you also think about others arranging you. He didn't kick you away. It's already a sign of friendship. As early as in Guishi province, Yang Zichin reminded Owen once, but the other party believed that he could not make his own decisions, so he refused. Although Yang Zichin was indifferent, he seemed to have a clear mind and a high emotional intelligence. Owen felt a sense of crisis at this moment, and his legs trembled. Yang, what do you think I should do? Didn't you sell Lian Xiang's shares? Yang Zichin looked at this heartless friend and said helplessly, Yes, of the 10% shares of Lian Xiang Holdings, the Chinese Academy of Sciences asked for 5%, and the other 5% was given to others. It was only sold for 4.7 billion, and I didn't make much money. Owen nodded. Due to the return of Lian Xiang, Lian Xiang has also become one of the choices in government procurement and has switched to the Shindu system. In terms of hardware, there are domestic chips from Maple Fire, as well as chips from Intel and agricultural enterprises. There is a little more variety in choice. Especially the hardware configuration is much more reliable. Although it is impossible for the market share to return to its original glory, it is not a big problem to survive. Therefore, the Chinese Academy of Sciences bought 5% of the shares, reaching 41%. Basically, the original problem of losing control will no longer occur. For Irving, he spent so much time managing and acquiring 10% of the shares. In the end, he only made more than 200 million, which was somewhat unsatisfactory. Did Director Jiang get this money back? Not yet. Owen shook his head. Because Duolong Industrial Investment Company, in the eyes of outsiders, is just an ally with Jiang Chung. After all, it is a foreign investment company, which is different. Therefore, Jiang Chung did not specifically ask him to transfer the money back to Maple Fire. And he had a lot to do. Although he remembered this incident, he was not in a hurry to come up with a solution. That's it. It's you who have to propose the next investment plan, instead of just waiting for Director Zhang's arrangements. Yang Zichin reminded, currently Maple Fire's focus is on foreign markets. You have to be more proactive. Okay. Owen put down the empty glass in his hand, clenched his fist lightly, and made his decision. But what exactly am I going to invest in? As long as it is related to the current development focus of Maple Fire Company, such as international trade, biomedicine, Jiang Chung naturally didn't know about the chat between Jack Owen and Yang Zichian. However, when he went to Jincheng to continue following up on the final research and development, Irving called to ask for instructions and even thought about the investment plan after the shares were sold. This surprised him a little. He knew Owen's temperament. He performed his duties loyally, but he had no ambitions. He basically just implemented the arrangements when they were arranged and enjoyed them when there were no arrangements. As a shareholder of some invested companies, he sometimes does not attend meetings. And he was just a cover for Jiang Chung to buy Bitcoin and bring rice dollars back to China for investment. Today's Jiang Chung, the Maple Fire Group has a great business, including the 4.7 billion that sold Lian Chiang's shares. Although Jiang Chung remembered it clearly, he did not treat it as a very important matter. It happened that Owen put forward his idea, and Jiang Chung also listened to it. Jack Owen's investment plan is divided into three parts. The first one is to invest 1 billion yuan to invest in medical device companies in China. The main direction is to produce medicines in the fields of drug treatment and treatment developed by Maple Fire and Carlin Biotech. Equipment and equipment, including medical masks, monitors, etc. Secondly, for international trade. Invest in SinoOcean International Trade Company and strive for 1.5 billion yuan to acquire 30% of the shares. The third step is to find suitable companies in Europe to invest in, mainly design companies. Well, that's a good idea. Let's use the money according to your plan. After hearing this, Jiang Chang replied directly to him. 
If the investment results are excellent, I will give you a small amount of shares. Hey, then I'll take action. As he spoke, Owen seemed to be very motivated. He immediately hung up the phone and was ready to take action. Zhang Cheng smiled and thought of Wei Zhiqing. This guy is doing very well now. After investing in relevant large-scale high-quality companies, he also started Angel Investment and participated in rounds A, B, C, etc., mainly to earn development dividends. It does not require dominance and has become a new type of giant capitalist. For this reason, Zhang Cheng also gave 1% of his shares to Wei Zhiqing as a reward. Today's Zhiqing Investment Company also has a lot of assets. Even if it is 1%, it is hundreds of millions of dollars. It's already quite a lot. What's more, he himself also drank soup with Jiang Chung and made a huge profit during the Bitcoin trading period. After hanging up the phone, Jiang Chung also recovered his thoughts and seriously discussed the experimental situation of a huge equipment. In front of Jiang Ching's eyes was a track about 80 meters long and 6 meters wide. It's just that this track is covered with various complex equipment and instruments. Since it is still a test device, the wiring is still a bit messy. Mr. Fu, you see, according to your design, our engineers assembled the equipment and took the model for testing. The effect is very good. A bald engineer beside Jiang Chung and Yi Haoyan introduced. Yi Haoyan couldn't understand it at all. He just followed it to get a general idea. He roughly knew the principle, but he didn't understand the detailed design. Jiang Cheng gestured, put the model up and give it a try. Okay. Bald engineer Liu Shuaping immediately asked the engineers beside him to prepare, and then introduced, this model uses an airplane model and weighs 20 tons. As soon as he saw Jiang Cheng's design, he knew that Jiang Cheng was going to make an electromagnetic catapult system on an aircraft carrier. Therefore, the experimental model also directly used the style of the Chinese G-15 carrier-based aircraft, but it was slightly heavier. As the device started up, Lu Shuaxing pressed the button heavily. The next moment, a huge amount of electrical energy was instantly excited at the base, forming a chain of electromagnetic forces that instantly pushed the model machine from slow to fast, sprinting forward. The ejection base is 80 meters long, and the ejection hook is hung on the model machine to push it. From the speed test, the model went from zero speed at the beginning to 260 kilometers per hour when it reached about 80 meters. The model machine jumped up instantly. Because the runway was slightly tilted upward, the model aircraft had a certain upward force, so it flew in the air for a while and fell down under the influence of air resistance and gravity. The staff quickly drove the machine to catch it. Lu Shuaxing said with a smile, thanks to Mr. Fu's excellent design. We have calculated that the power consumption is only about 25 degrees. Yi Haoyan frowned. Are we really studying it for use on aircraft carriers? I think military companies have already developed it, and their catapults have been tested on carrier-based aircraft many times. Otherwise, the technology is immature and will not be carried on the third aircraft carrier. Zhang Cheng smiled and said, Currently, it is not used on aircraft carriers. Our technology only has some minor optimizations, but the overall principle is the same. It is impossible for the Navy to switch to our catapults. Yes, that's why I don't understand. This thing we developed has almost no use except for aircraft carriers. Although Yi Haoyan doesn't understand this technology, he knows what the market for the technology is like. I'm planning to use it in aerospace. Jiang Cheng shook his head. Aerospace? Here, do you want to shoot a rocket? Not only Yi Haoyan, but also the chief engineer Liu Shuaping was confused. Jiang Cheng's lips raised slightly. Yes, it's just shooting rockets. Jiang, Mr. Fu, are your ideas too advanced? Yi Haoyan was speechless. I thought you were going to develop electromagnetic weapons, but I didn't know you were really going to engage in aerospace. The Maple Fire Group has received the approval for private aerospace and is preparing to build an electromagnetic ejection space launch site. It has already proposed cooperation intentions to us. Jiang Chang was indifferent. He had been thinking about this matter for a long time and considered it an area that must be promoted. As for other military and industrial weapons, to be honest, China's current development is still very good. If we really want to develop, we must develop leading technologies that transcend an era. Yi Haoyan said to Presley, is this planning to become SpaceX? No, Haoyan heavy equipment only provides equipment. Jiang Chang shook his head. You have to know that our electromagnetic ejection technology is not only used in aerospace, 
but also can develop electromagnetic ejection drone group equipment, electromagnetic rocket launchers. Regarding aerospace, it is just said that Jiang Qing's Maple Fire Group will come to purchase it. As for the space launch rocket, after our technology is put into use, I think China Aerospace will also come to purchase it. Yi Haoyin nodded in agreement. So that's it. I thought you asked me to change my development direction and engage in aerospace. Here, look at this electromagnetic catapult. It weighs dozens of tons. Isn't it just heavy equipment? Jiang Cheng smiled. So you also have engineers for this. We leave the technology of drones and electromagnetic catapults to us. Team, you and Chief Engineer Liu need to think more about how to develop new equipment. At least it's impossible to wait for Jiang Chang to come up with new designs and guide the development of new equipment, right? Then he was too tired. Jiang Ching Du, the owner of his huge maple fire group, was half-handed. So how could he spend too much time and energy on Haoyan Heavy Equipment Company? Clear. Okay, Mr. Fu, let's continue to master this technology. Jiang Ching then said, Go back and contact the maple fire group personnel. Yi Haoyan blinked and asked maple fire group, isn't it just your left hand holding your right hand? 